I actually wash my phone like one once a week. You wash your phone? I don't know. I just I, I don't like it. It gets like shit on it. I don't really like it. It's shit on it. <laughs> <laughs> I shit on my phone, Maylene. Why do we talk about shit as like every time no, we start? No, don't, don't don't fucking use this. It's use this. Cool. Do it. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of, wait, which episode are we on? <laughs> I don't fucking know. 43. Welcome to episode 43. I heard, wait, no. What is this, is we, we've it? never said an episode number yeah, in the Fuck history it. of trash Fuck taste. I'm gonna just make it. I just want, we're not swapping like, Welcome this, to episode we? 47. <laughs> <laughs> just don't mention the episode name. We've never mentioned an episode number before. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking do it. It's 43. Welcome back to this episode of trash taste. And once again, I'm with the boys who is Joey, who is gone. That's the answer to the boys. Thank you. Well, I didn't realize. <laughs> yeah. what, what is this, Jeopardy? <laughs> yeah, I realized. <laughs> I did a, who <laughs> is Joey? <laughs> Correct. And who is gone? No, sorry, uh, Grant. He's your daily Grant, double. Sorry, who Grant. is Grant? I've, I've never watched Jeopardy before. Really? That's yeah. pretty good fun, actually. Well, yeah, why, fun. What, why did they have to answer like, what is like Grant? Or I whatever? don't know. Because, because what they, instead of the question, they give you like an answer and then you, ha the answer is the question. So oh. it's like reverse. Okay. Like trivia. Grown yeah. man finds out what Jeopardy is. For, <laughs> I've yeah. only seen like out of context Jeopardy tweet, uh, Jeopardy clips, and I've just always tried to figure out why are they answering in questions. I feel like it's pretty easy to figure out what's going on. Well, now now that you've explained it, now of course it's going to be easy. Now no that you've one, explained it, no one it. had to tell me what was going on. I was like, yeah. I'm guessing based on you know what's going on. I can't rec I can't recall the moment in my life where I was like, I need to know how this game works. <laughs> Oh, Great, man. good job, gone. Good I, job I, gone. I can't even remember the last time I watched a game show. It's just, yeah. 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 <laughs> Did you watch any game shows growing up? Yeah, I actually watched quite a lot. We have, quite, we have quite good ones in the UK. Yeah, like fair. How to Be a Millionaire. That was classic, classic game show. Did you guys show. have like uh, Deal or No Deal? That was a, what country originally made that? America. America. America? But we yeah. had like an Australian version. Yeah, the British one went for a long time. Is yeah, we had going? like, who was the host? No Edmonds. No Edmonds, yeah. Mm. Have you seen the American Deal or No Deal? No. It's like it's like Deal or No Deal, but like it's way more Hollywoodized. Is it literally just like the Kitchen Nightmares deal where like <laughs> Kitchen Nightmares USA is like, no, it's boom, boom, you won't believe what happened. And then the UK one is like, Gordon's like, all right, come on, you gotta get your act together. <laughs> it's it's Go just, on. it's way bigger. They got like, it, you know, in, instead of just fucking Noel Edmonds, like opening the briefcase or some or something, it's they, they've got like the proper, you know, um, boxing ring chicks that are like, you know. Pro, oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like the models that open up the briefcase <laughs> and you compare it to like the British version and it's just it's just night and day. Wait, does the British version not have, because I, I we think have the we boxes, only- yeah, the boxes. We, we have the boxes. Oh, because in Australia, we, they, they, we did, no, no, like, the, took the American thing and we, we explain, lined up like 30 chicks. Should we explain what deal or no deal is to someone who might not know? Okay. Uh, it's basically like a contestant comes on, um, Open, no, wait, opens a bunch of briefcases. They have to get down to- <laughs> How do you Oh wait, the, the so they get down to two boxes, don't they? <laughs> yeah, okay. So uh, if I remember correctly, you have, I can't remember like 15 boxes or 15 briefcases. I think it's more than it's that. It's like 25. Is that, that 25? 25? It's like a lot, yeah. yeah. And I believe you have to like, you have to choose random briefcases mm. And they get knocked out. And then like every briefcase has a different amount of money in it. And when you choose that briefcase, that amount of money is knocked out of the prize pool. And no, so, but isn't it they they pick a briefcase first and they, yeah, so they and they hang on to it, but they don't know what it is until the oh, very, yeah, yeah, very yeah, end. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they, that's basically what they do is is the reason why they don't just immediately skip to the final one which you pick is yeah. because along the way, based on what you've knocked out or got in, so say you've knocked out all the lower prize pools, yeah. like yeah. the one thousand pounds, the two thousand, yeah. they'll offer you deals. Yeah. yeah. So the whole point of the show is that you kind of want to knock out all the small ones at first so that they might offer you a really generous deal, which, yeah. you know, cause your box might be like the one that's left that yeah, sucks. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it was always a really fun game show and I really liked it. But in the, in the UK, I don't know if this is the same in Australia, but mm. like all ages watch like the quiz shows, like the daily yeah, quiz shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just what? couldn't see like my, my grandma watching like bikini models fucking <laughs> open up boxes. Dude, my grandma was fucking obsessed with Deal or No Deal. Oh, my, my, my great grandma too as yeah. well. Yeah, she was- I don't well. know what it is. Watched it every day. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, but you did you guys not have like the, the, the supermodels like with no. all the no. briefcases? No. Our, our game shows are like unapologetically like just like chill people just doing like, <laughs> Like just for normally for small amounts of money. But then, yeah, the, yeah. but then on the opposite of the side of the spectrum, you guys have shows like Naked Attraction. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I think mean, that's we, still I mean, small scale, I, I yeah. would say. Because even mo like Pointless, which has been like, uh, which if you don't know what Pointless is, it's kind of hard to just fucking Google it. This is a <laughs> thing. I don't want to explain every single game show that we talk right. about. Right. Um, 
pointless. The prize pool is only ever like one thousand pounds, right? Yeah, which is really, like, yeah, which is like to go on Nothing. A, to go on, you know, national TV. It's like for like what, like one thousand five hundred dollars? No, one thousand three hundred dollars. Not really a lot. If that's if yeah. you win, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. nothing yeah. if you don't. At least Deal or No Deal had like I think the prize pool, the top prize pool is like a million dollars or something. It's oh, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Oh no, yeah. pounds for oh, the really? UK one. In Australia, it was like a million. Yeah. It's a, I think that's not too far off. But, I mean, uh, I, yeah. you never saw anyone winning the mill. Yeah, though. prize pools in general in the UK quiz shows are pretty small, except for like the big ones, which are marked as like the big ones. Like, like, I think like the biggest one we had was Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Right, yeah, that was yeah. the biggest yeah. one. I mean, oh. that was the whole show. I mean, I think yeah. that was the biggest one anywhere, right? I'm pretty yeah, sure that I mean, was the biggest yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, like, they probably like the UK version was probably like the most expensive. Just like, fuck, why is, yeah. our, why is our currency <laughs> so goddamn strong? You know, <laughs> A million pounds is a lot yeah, that's of money. A lot, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, imagine a Japanese who wants to be a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> we have that. It's like, Did you just win a million yen? Uh, she like 10 yeah. grand. Not, <laughs> not I even. think, uh, wait, what is it again? <laughs> Ashley, do you remember like how much money is it for the Japanese who wants to be a millionaire? I didn't even know Japan. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, never mind. I'm pretty sure it's a million. No, it's ten million yen. Yeah, yeah that remember, would make sense. Well, because yeah. we, we spoke about it before. I remember like Takeshi's Castle. Yeah, like mm. uh, the Japanese version. I think it was three million yen was the prize. Yeah, and I thought for a game show that fucking hard. $30,000 doesn't seem like a fair reward for a show that only like five people ever won. But in most Japanese quiz shows, it's like, yeah. It, it, well, well, it is about the money, but when it is about the money, the max you get is like 10K. And that's usually tragic. and usually that's split because like, usually it's like a team based. Oh no. Oh, no. Like, thing. So it's like, you guys win 10K split between the five of you. So it's more, <laughs> and then after taxes. So you probably get about a grand what's each. Your, like, what's your like favorite Australian or like American game show that you ever seen? <sighs> God. I, I'd probably say Deal or No Deal was probably my say favorite. Say Deal or No Deal? I, I really liked Family Fortunes. I don't know, oh, I don't know what the American really? one is, but- the, Family Feud? Family, family, yeah, family Feud. feud. Yeah, like, yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah. like the American, like clips of the American one, and that mm. seems as fun, if not even better than the British yeah, version. The, because like on the American one, I feel like they have like more celebrities to choose from. Exactly, the, right? UK, exactly. We, we only have like a few very giant Yeah, we had like Les Dennis, which I don't even remember what he was famous for in the first place. Yeah, because, because like in America, you have like celebrities, which normally are known like the world over. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because how it is. But in the UK, you have like two tiers of celebrities, which mm. are like legit, like massive celebrities known all around the world. Like, you know, like norm normally musical artists or like really big actors. And then the yeah. local. Then you known have ones, like right? the locally known ones, which are normally like, just like, um, the comedians are pretty good. We have yeah, really yeah, good comedians, yeah. but like outside of that, you have like someone who's like, he said the a racist word on TV and made a career out of it one time. Well, it's like, yeah, it's like, I, mean, right, okay, I mean, it's the same in Australia. Career. Yeah, I mean, it's the same in Australia. It's like, it, 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 you're either an internationally known like star who's yeah. hosting the show, or you're an Australian comedian that failed to like market themselves outside of Australia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's just like, we'll give you a spot. You, you speak in Australian we had, we had this one game show. I think it was, I don't, don't know if it was British first, called Golden Balls. Did you ever watch this? Oh yeah, I that did watch good. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, good. I know. It's yeah. good. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, Tee Golden Balls. And I can't, so what would happen is, is that they would get like five balls each and they all had different amounts of money in them. Right. And then they would basically have to like negotiate, I think, oh, this is rough. Did no, no, no. So- Who'd kick off? So, oh. so, no, no, no. Um, it's like a I, football game. No, I, no, I, no, I, no. I've, I've seen, I haven't actually seen it, but I've, I think we're thinking of the right one where the last round- yeah, the last round is the is, best is the most Is the most interesting one. Right. So you, you have a prize pool and it's, it's, I think it's based on like the prisoner's dilemma or something. I'm probably wrong on that. But mm. so you have two people and you basically have to agree if you're going to share the prize pool mm. um, and or like, okay, so- You have a she steal or share? Yeah, All right. you, you can steal the entire prize pool or you can share the prize pool. Mm. And if you share, if, if both people pick share, then you share the prize money. Right. But if one person picks steal, they get the entire amount of the prize money. Oh, okay, okay. But if both people pick steal, then nobody, no one gets, nobody gets the prize money. And you just money. saw like the- Biggest pieces of shit on this show. <laughs> like, yeah, you'd win the money, but like- That really seems like a show to like expose the worst yeah, side like, of humanity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, these, they, it was brutal, right? Cause this TV show fucking loved it. Cause they were yeah. like, yeah. bro, whatever you gotta do to get this money, you ham it up. <laughs> and so these people would do like massive sob stories to the person next to yeah, them. Right. And they would believe them. They'd be like, man, my kids, you know, they need this thing real bad, man. They're like, you know, they need yeah. this expensive thing, et cetera. No, no. And then, and then they, you know, they would do it and then they would reveal like, like they stole all the money. Yeah. And everyone's like, yeah. okay, sure. You won 10 grand, but yeah. man, at what at cost? What cost? Yeah, at, at what cost? cost? At what cost? Uh, don't, don't go through humiliated. their like entire life story to be like, hey, look, 
I, uh, I'm a devout Christian. I've given to charity. I am the most honest person you could ever meet in your life. Mm. They JK, literally, they literally did a deal and was just like, I'm going to reject humanity <laughs> <laughs> to get this money. I, I do remember there's one guy. I think I've seen the same clip, right? Was it which one? Which one was it? The, the guy who just fucking hacked, like social hacked the game where he yeah. was just like, look, mate, I'm going to pick steel. Yeah. And <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. It's such, such a, <laughs> a, such a like a five head move. He literally goes to the guy, look, I'm not even gonna pretend. I'm going to pick steel, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share half the prize money with you once the game's over. And the other guys was like, no, you, you, you can't, you can't do that. You can't, you can't, you're like, no, we're, we're gonna pick share. We're gonna at least agree to pick share. He's like, nope, I'm picking steel and you're gonna have to trust me that I'm gonna share the prize money <laughs> after the after after the show ends. And right. like the other guy asked the host, is this allowed? Is, is this actually allowed? And the host goes, whatever happens after the show, we can't guarantee, you know? <laughs> so he's so like- if you get shanked, that's your issue. Yeah, yeah. So, so he's like, well, I'm gonna pick steel as well then. And he's like, fine, if you pick steel, we're both gonna lose the money. But the only chance you're gonna have to gain money <laughs> is by picking share, right? <laughs> Such a fucking five head move. That's like, asshole move. That's like reverse, reverse No, 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 but, 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 but at the end, he didn't pick steel, he picked share. So right. both of them got the prize money in the end. Oh wow. shit. Wow. And I was just like, Dude, this 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 guy this guy is the main protagonist of the fucking universe. What a five head move, man. That that is yeah. literally like the martyr. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be the bad guy so that everyone can win. <laughs> like I just I just watched like IRL Code Geass right in front of yeah, me. Yeah, that is literally this, this, Code this is what shit. I saw right here. I, I I saw like I swear I don't know if this was like a popular clip, but I remember one time a guy who like literally came into the show because like, there's four contestants at the start, I mm. believe. He was literally just right from the start being like, I'm a steal. I'm gonna steal no matter what. Yeah, like, right, and then he, yeah. he stole, and then he didn't get anything. See, the person also stole. Wow. <laughs> so it was like the same thing, but like small brain version. Where he was, he was like, "I'm gonna steal to everyone." I was like, "Yeah, we know. <laughs> I'm not giving you any of it." <laughs> like, so am I. <laughs> God, you, imagine you you wait for months, right? You go through all the interviews and shit. You get on yeah. the show. Finally, you have a chance of winning money, and some fucking asshole immediately just said to everyone, "I'm gonna ruin the show for all of you. I don't give a fuck." You'd be like. Well, fuck! What am I supposed to do? <laughs> like that's oh like the God. that's like the what's the fuck's the thing? Uh, the the millionaire hot seat thing as well. Do you, did that? you have those? No, we don't have that. I don't think. Okay, because like I, I don't know if it was in America. We definitely had it in Australia though. So there's like you know there's like who wants to be a millionaire, which yeah. is just like a one on one thing. Yeah. There was this other version of it called millionaire hot seat, which is basically it's one game of millionaire, but then there's like four other people in basically like sitting on the benches, right. waiting for the person to fuck up. And if one person gets the answer wrong, they swap. then it goes to the next person, oh, but from where they okay. started. That's pretty cool. And so I, remember I saw this clip, which is like, you start off with five people. Right. And uh, they got to, I don't know, it was like the 2000, you know, not even halfway up kind of thing. And I guess it was like a really hard question. So the first guy gets it wrong and he's like, oh fuck, all right, whatever, see you later. Next person comes on fully confident being like, well, they, he basically just got rid of one of the answers for me. I got this. And not only does he get it wrong, but then the next person during 50-50, he also gets it wrong. <laughs> so then fourth person comes up is like, so, so there's only one answer remaining. Um, I think it's this one. It's like, you're correct. <laughs> but like imagine waiting, sitting on the benches, all that time to just come up and be like, thank yeah. you for yeah, giving me this you, money. Th thank you for the free money. Thank you for the free <laughs> money, JK <C> <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to remember what else was that. The weakest link, do you remember the weakest link? Yeah, cause you remember like, uh, what's his name? Uh, was it Phil or Dan? Which one of them was on the weakest link? Oh, were they actually? Yeah, one, the of, them was on the, yeah, one of them was on the weakest link. What's the weakest link? Oh, it's just, it, it's just it's not going anymore, is it? I don't think so. It was this really popular daytime British TV show mm. where we had this like really like, she was famous for being like bitch. Basically, okay, because that was her whole, whole character was that she was. Yeah, rude I can't remember to you. her name. Um, and she was just a quiz show, and basically, like, it would just keep going and asking questions, and you'd basically like at the end of the question round, at, they'd ask like, eight people. You you have to vote someone off, and it was normally the person who was letting the team down because if you got a question wrong, you like ruin the streak, and it's like a video game where more bonus, more streak, right, more points. Right. So if someone gets a question wrong, they ruin it, then you get less money. Mm. Yeah, and you if you. So like as it's going around, so if I get one right, I get a hundred points. Then you get two hundred, then four hundred, and someone has to like say bank, mm. so that the points get saved. So the streak oh, can keep going until yeah. someone saves it. Right, so right, if right. you're the one who's like, I'm going to get the the big boy question, and then you fuck it up and lose the money that <laughs> everyone just earned, yeah, you're probably going to get voted off. Yeah. Right, right. But then like there was a meta game behind it as well because mm. if you are too good, 
then people then then people would just like gang up on you and vote you off because they'd you, have you would like win, yeah. less chance of winning right, right. if you were on the game show. Right. Yeah, and, and there was a, and I think, I can't remember which one it was. It was Dan or Phil, one of them was on it mm. before they became a YouTuber. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really good. You should watch it. And then like uh, the host is just like roasting them. That sounds fun. Yeah. It, it's just pretty, it's really endearing watching someone before they were a YouTuber, like do it. Mm, like it was yeah. just, I don't know, it was really fun. I've always wanted to be on like trivia yeah, shows like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think I'd like to go on a show that has like, literally that is just like, hey, this is just a game show. Just go up and do it. Like yeah, no yeah, rig, yeah, yeah, no yeah, like yeah. acts, no, no fucking no, like, no. Hey, hey, play this character. No, just let me just fucking yeah. go on and yeah. make a fool of myself. Like, is there like a, what, what's really happening? A game show is still going on? Yeah, they are. I think like, it's like, I'd like to think that most game shows are the complete opposite of like the talent shows. Yeah, right? yeah, it's like, yeah. Because the talent shows are just heavily scripted narratives. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. All this stuff. I There's think we stuff. just don't know because we don't watch TV. <laughs> yeah, we, I just stopped watching TV, so yeah. I actually have no fucking idea anymore. Yeah, um, yeah. Me too. There was this YouTuber now who's uploading. Um, he entered a, a, an American talent show that I'd never heard of. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's called Reckless Ben on YouTube, and he's like, he he basically signed up for this thing and then wore secret glasses while he's on it. So now he's <laughs> uploading videos of him oh. in, behind the scenes and his narration is really fucking funny. Yeah. And uh, yeah, now they're just like threatening him to take the videos <laughs> well, down. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and, and he's uploading videos be like, I'm not gonna take it down. Here's the next video. <laughs> it's I'm, really, I'm taking it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's really interesting. It's just really, really living up to his name. Isn't yeah, because he's just like, he's in it and he's just narrating really stupid and he's just like a, a complete clown in like a, the best way possible. Right, right, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really interesting. You watch these YouTube videos. I, I didn't sell it very well. I feel like I just don't want to explain too much. You should just go watch them. It's pretty, really, really, really underrated. Yeah. yeah. Like no one's watched these videos. They have like 80K, 100K. Which oh, is I mean, like, that's, that's still a decent amount. That's well, for saying like as crazy as this, you'd right. think it'd be a lot bigger. But no, yeah. is, is, it, is it like even a big kind of exposure that, hey, this is kind of faked and this, no, but is, it's just this really, is all scripted. It's really fun just seeing like a producer go up to him and be like, no, not now. Oh, hey, this is your, like, oh, like, you know, like when the crowd's cheering. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Like he shows like the video footage of like, what's the show scene that he cuts to what what's happening to him. And it's just him in the middle of a giant stage and there's nothing, <laughs> <laughs> and, like no noise or anything. <laughs> it's really, it's really oh funny. My God. I think there's a big difference between just like hearing and knowing yeah. that it's rigged versus yeah. actually seeing that it's rigged. You know, like all those talent shows as well have like on th on site therapists because of like how like brutal the schedule is. Like some of them uh, in like America's Got Talent had to like sit around for like 19 hours to like wait to practice. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. So they had on-site therapists and they would like, in, there was like cases where they're injecting them with like vitamins and stuff to keep, <laughs> to keep them awake during these shows. What the fuck? Yeah, and then obviously, you know, these contracts you sign, which have come out before for like X Factor in the UK. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Horrible, yeah. yeah. And my God, like some of them, I, I swear it was X Factor UK where you literally sign away your rights to anything you've ever done online. Yeah. Like, and any right, anything you do in future. Ever. Yeah. Like if you became a YouTuber, they own it. Like wow. you can't do it without their permission. Yeah. Like, it's, you, it's fucked. It's nuts. Yeah. Like I get why they do it because they want to cover their ass, but they go like so beyond where it's like, this is kind of like- This is kind of just Wait, exploit who would agree to it? exploitive now. But then like, but, like people want their five minutes of fame, right? Yeah, That's and, why and it's like, what are you going to do? Get five minutes of fame yourself? No, I don't think, don't think so. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Build a career? Good one. Good one. <laughs> not without my help. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not without Simon Cowell fucking breathing down your throat. I don't think so. Jesus Christ. Mm. I'll tell you what uh, Sydney's been watching recently. She's been like, she's gone off the I true know, crime for a bit and she's oh, just, she? yeah, she's now turned over to uh, trash TV, uh, reality trash TV. Oh. She's been watching 90 Day Fiance. Bro, I could just feel the script <laughs> when I'm watching that show. <laughs> like you can tell like the producers have made them do like two, three takes. Of course. Yeah, 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 shit. Yeah. It's awful. I can't stand it. I watched like one whole season of it and it was just like, they just repeat you the same You watched one shit. whole season? I watched a whole I'm, I'm season. I'm impressed, I'm yeah. impressed. How? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I didn't enjoy half of it either. I was watching it and it's just like, they go in fucking circles. They'll be like, so they'll, they'll meet up and they'll be like, yeah, it's kind of weird, but we just love each other. And then they'll just be like red flags right from the start. They'll yeah. be like, yeah, he asked me to PayPal him like 10 grand, you know, he doesn't want to have kids. I want to have kids, but you know, I think love has a way. And it's, it's like- genius like, <laughs> like love drama, right? It's That's yeah. fucking anime. genius. No, no, because I, I feel like watching 90 Day Fiance, right? I lose brain cells watching this no, shit. I, I oh, lose, yeah, I lose brain cells watching it, but I think it like, I imagine what if it aired like on Twitch or something? I think it would be a fucking, Excellent experience if something yeah. like that aired on Twitch. Like, like unscripted? What? Huh? Like unscripted or? No, I mean, just like watching with like the Twitch chat. Oh, yeah, no, just yeah, seeing, yeah, seeing yeah. all the reactions. That's like 
part yeah. of the fun. Yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worst part about watching it, like in seasons, was like, yeah. Without the YouTube comments, 90 Day Fiance is like 90% less enjoyable. Yeah, 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 yeah because yeah, yeah. the best comments were like making sure that everyone agrees with you on, on who's, <laughs> the, who's the bigger asshole. Yeah, yeah, comment, yeah, exactly. You know? It's it's like literally like the a, a real life version of R, am I the asshole? You know, it's, <laughs> you know, you, you, you go that see the spicy drama, but watching it by yourself, I feel is just, you, you lose half the enjoyment out of it. How did you and sit through like a normal episode of that? Oh, it was hard. Because like I watched, cause obviously like, like anybody, I got into it through the fucking Ed and Rose clips, right? That yeah. went around. Yeah. yeah, me too. So I was just like, oh, I'm, you know, if the clips are this good, then <clears> I'm, I'm pretty sure the entire episode is good. It's yeah. not. Well, cause like- It's the, such a drag. It is, it is one of those TV shows where like the clip is the best way to watch it. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Watching this was like brutal. Like non, none of these couples are like good people. They're all just like the worst people <laughs> yeah. doing the shittiest things to each other and then being surprised when none of it works. And it's like, it is it is horrible. I mean, I mean, like it's it's trash TV, but I mean, you know why you're watching it, right? Yeah. You're, you're, no one's watching it to be like, hmm, may, maybe this situation will work out. And this girl's like, you know, this this guy who's on his 10th marriage, you know, and I've only known him for three months. I don't know if he really loves me. It is literally, like, just, it, it is like- like, is, what? No way. <laughs> that's it is like, what it's like. It is like someone has made like a play Playbook of like the worst setups to relationships. Yeah. It's like there's always like someone who can't speak the other person's language, so they just can't communicate. Most like, yeah. of the time, it's and it's that, like right? it's like what the fuck are you doing, Maylene? What the hell was Maylene? that? We're recording. <laughs> You're watching 90 Day Fiance over there. <laughs> <laughs> Maylene's just loading up an episode right now, apparently. So what are they talking about? There's like there was like one where it was like the girl's like 18 and the guy's 46 and has two kids and I'm like. That just sounds like a bad idea. Wait, Ed and Rose. <laughs> yeah, and it was like, yeah, it was like that and someone else. Yeah, and then yeah, there was like, yeah. um, what was the other one? There was like these, these. It was one of them. I think it was like, oh, he was like a South African guy, mm. and other one was like an American. Like, uh, she was like super activist and stuff, and like he was just kind of like the most laid back man on earth. He was like, yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. And she was just like, I need you to know that I care about these things. And she was psychotic, and like watching her like behave around this guy was like awful. Was, and I was just like, this is terrible. This is awful. Why is he doing this? How much is he getting paid? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. It, like, it's are they TLC. getting paid? Like, I need to know. No, no, it's TLC, so they, they're definitely paying, they're but- getting, They're the, definitely the, getting paid. Are you sure they're getting paid? They're getting paid pennies. Like, cause I feel they, like- I hope they're getting paid. Because if they're not getting paid, I don't know why they're putting up with half of this shit. Like yeah. it is- I'm pretty sure TLC pays all of the people that they have. Are you it's sure? Just, but yeah, but like, I use the word paid very loosely. Like they're probably getting paid scraps for that shit. Yeah, it's just like it's like I'm watching this and I'm like, how much would you have to pay me to because make Because you do know this? that uh you know the Rose, the the, the Filipino yeah. girl, she she's like a YouTuber now. Yeah, I saw, I saw. <laughs> so it's just like if you probably got paid shit all, but hey, you got, got a, a YouTube following. career now, I guess. I don't know. You have well, a that, following. That was like the rare situation where if the other side is just so goddamn awful, mm. it yeah. makes you look amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that I mean, I, I did her a solid. <laughs> it's it, it's it's always weird for me watching American reality TV show versus British reality TV show. Cause I feel like British reality TV show is like so much more toned down yeah. than American. Like I, I think, I think when, when I think of British reality TV shows, the, the peak that comes to me is something like come dine with me. That's you know pretty I mean? good. Mm. Or like, uh, what's the other one that that fucking guy does where you just come up to him at a table and he just buys shit off you for like a hundred quid. Was the Antique Hunters or something? Oh, Antiques Roadshow? Antique Roadshow, yeah. Is that, is that it. it? Oh, I like that, I like that, that show. That has literally yeah, yeah, been yeah. on the air for like, I don't know how long and it's just fun to watch. Yeah. Just people to bring in something. So yeah. I'll give you fucking 20 quid for it. Yeah, it's like the fucking, you know, like porn stars, right? But like on, legit. America, like, but like more really, legit yeah. than that, yeah. Yeah, Come Dine With Me is probably, probably the best British reality TV show, I think. I enjoy it. One of my favorite trash reality TV shows on England, I can't remember the name, but the concept is they take this couple who, you know, doesn't have a lot of money, but are wanting, but want to get married. Oh my God. Uh, want to get married. Fucking Aki loves cheapest that one, wedding, right? Sorry. Yeah, not cheap as wedding. That's the, that's the Australian is version. That, is that the Australian that's version? That's the Australian version. And they get like, they give them 10K to sort out this wedding, right? Oh, it's a- uh, uh, and, uh, and like the bride has no control. She, yeah, yeah, she yeah, doesn't yeah. know anything and it's Aki, all up to the guy. Aki, Aki's obsessed with that it's show. A, it was a BBC three show. <laughs> Who, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, who called the bride or something like that? Something like something that. Like that. Like, who like, wants the bride? Who wants the bride? That? Something like that. I, but it's such a, it, it was such a good concept in my opinion. Cause like 10K, I feel like is 
just the right amount of money to yeah. be able to make a wedding happen, but not enough to make everything you want out of a wedding happen. Right. That's pretty genius. Yeah, it's, it's it's genius. And like making the guy do it as well. well. Yeah, I mean, you don't need producers, right? You just sit there and follow the guy. If he, <laughs> if he does nothing, that's fantastic content. Yeah. But, like, and and they're, they're, they must be fully aware of it too, because they always choose they always choose to use the 10K in the worst fucking- Oh, we should have done that with Gant's wedding. You know, just, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, hey, Gant, his 10K, because, go for it, dude. Because the guys in the show, right? The first thing they do, it's like, call up the crew. Yeah. Call, and they call the up like their, their boy, call, they call up their boys and they're like, and then like the main guy will be fucking clueless. And there'll yeah. be that one friend who's like, I really don't think you should, you know, hire inflatable dinosaurs for your wedding. That seems like a bad idea. Like, no, no, I got this, it's my yeah. wedding. Because there's always like, there's always like that, there's either the guy who like, there was never a guy who got it like 100% right. Cause you're not yeah, guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. But there was a guy who was like pretty close and then like did an, a modest attempt. And there was just the other type of guy that was like, I'm going to do fucking Star Wars themed wedding. <laughs> It's my, no, my, my, wedding. my favorite one is the one where like the 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 groom like decides to get married in like a pig barn. Oh yes, yeah, I've seen this one. Like they go to like a the dead ass go to like a farm with like yeah. fucking muddiest like muddy, yeah, like yeah. ground. I, I think it's I saw, like, you, but you love pigs. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw one where the guy like hosted the wedding in a cave, like a proper an actual that's cave. Kind of badass. Right? I mean, that's, if you're not caving, yeah, uh, yeah. That's, I mean, that's that's badass. But then like you're not the, in the nutty the, muddy. The, <laughs> like he knew that the bride's mum was claustrophobic. <laughs> <laughs> so the bride's mom actually- How to get rid of the in-laws. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so the bride's mom actually couldn't attend like the wedding ceremony because it was so like standing the outside the cave. <laughs> That's fucking big brain. That's so big brain. Yeah, so uh, my in-laws hate boats. So I decided yeah. let's get it on the cruise. <laughs> I mean, as, as someone who's like planning a wedding now, it's it's, it's great for me. Cause I'm just like, I, I, I see the stress that people, that people like can go through. You're giving a survey to like Sydney's family. So what are your fears, by the way? Just my, Spiders, no, what, are you, yeah, what are you afraid of? We're talking like zoos. Like what? Are, like, it's like my favorite moment is always when they try to pick the dress. The, the and dress. It, it's yeah, never. It's like it's not even like a little bit wrong. It's always the complete opposite of what the bride picks. It's right? literally like and one, two, three, and have a breakdown. Have a mental breakdown yeah. right now. Start crying. Start telling <laughs> the, the wedding's over. That's literally how it. Like, this yeah. episode is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Guys, we talk about shitting a lot on this podcast, right? <laughs> we, do. we do. We do. We do. Admittedly, yes. Now, don't you want to shit with the privacy of the bathroom door? Locked. Of course I do. Well, using the internet without ExpressVPN is like going to the bathroom and not closing the door. So why would we want to do that? That just sounds barbaric and I will not stand for it. I'm being told that internet service providers like Comcast or Verizon know every single website you visit. That's really interesting information because I've also heard that ISPs can sell this information to ad companies and tech giants who then use your data to target you. ExpressVPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet. So your online activity can't be seen mm in by anyone. It's as easy as closing the bathroom door. Simply fire up the app and press one button. And I use this all the time when I'm watching anime as certain websites don't let you watch from Japan. And trust me, it's fucking easy. Oh yeah, what, yeah, what it, devices it do you use it on? Every single device I have, my PC, my phone, probably my refrigerator soon when it gets installed. Not only that, but it's rated number one by CNET, Wired, The Verge, and other creditable sources. And it's actually quite cheap per month. ExpressVPN has been a game changer for me because I cannot tell that I'm even connected to a VPN. There's no losses in speed whatsoever. So what are you waiting for? Secure your online activity today by visiting expressvpn.com slash trash taste. That's expressvpn.com slash trash taste. And you can get an extra three months Free. Go to expressvpn.com slash trash taste. Back to the episode. I would, I would, you know, even if I got like paid on top of doing the wedding, because I'm assuming the, the, the like kind of the reason why people apply for that share is that you get a free wedding, right? Yeah. Yeah. But like, man, organizing a wedding seems like one of the, the easiest things to get wrong in life. <laughs> like just, I thought about this. That is the most nervous <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I thought about this and I was like, God damn, just the like, cause you know, like, all right, you have friends, right? But yeah. like not every friend you want to come to your wedding, right? And yeah. So that must be so yeah. fucking awkward deciding like, you're you're a good enough friend, but like, uh, <laughs> You're like good enough for the wedding. I can barely you. organize a boys night out, well, let alone well, yeah, a fucking wedding. Because also like you have like, how many friends do you have, right? And like, where do you draw the line? Who's close enough? How do you yeah. decide? Is it like a mutual thing? You're like, no, I don't like Ted. No, Ted like Ted where, 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 wedding politics is like definitely that a thing. That seems so difficult. Like it, my, my cousin went through it as well. And it's just, it's, uh, there's there's a lot that goes into a wedding that I like, I, I have foresee. no interest. <laughs> like, I didn't, obviously it's, it's like trying to plan a wedding itself is hard enough. Trying to plan a wedding, 
internet, like when you're not in the country yeah. and also during like COVID hit. Hard and that mode. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, is, this is like, not even like hard mode. This is like Dark Souls, no, no, <laughs> no hit, hit run, run mode, mode man. <laughs> <laughs> like there's so many things that, can like that can fuck up as well. I love and how I love how nowadays whenever anything is like extremely hard, the first Dark thing you think of is Dark Souls <laughs> Dark no Soul. hit. <laughs> Nothing's harder than that. But yeah, I mean it's stressful, but it's it's rewarding. Yeah, it must I, be. I think. I mean, is it, it, is it I, mean I mean it's rewarding. If watching, yes, yes. <laughs> it's rewarding until like it, it'll be rewarding once it actually finishes, right? Yeah, and yeah. everything goes smooth. I mean, I mean, like the planning parts. Some of it's better than the others. Like I, I remember, like like my favorite moment so far has been actually going to the venue and just being like, "Yeah, this is the place. This yeah, is yeah, the place." Yeah. That's an amazing feeling. Everything up to that, like searching through about fifty catalogs of possible places and driving to about ten different places, places and being like, uh, "Do I want to settle on this? Uh, I don't know. Can yeah. I see myself getting married in a barn or a cave in, or whatever?" In <laughs> Japan, it's like crazy how like fucking seriously they take this. Oh yeah. Oh, it's yeah. it's even it's like in Asia, they're like we, we think there's like wedding politics in Western weddings. No, in Asia, it's a fucking statement. Yeah. Right, and I hate that. I I absolutely <laughs> hate that because there's so many unspoken rules at also, an Asian wedding. The amount that they must spend on weddings here. Oh, like, it's not. Yeah, insane. it's, it's like, insane. If you go to like any like fancy hotel in Japan, like you just, cause you know, if you go there for like a lunch or something, you'll see that like the wedding planning rooms are like full with people. Yeah. yeah. And like th those prices don't seem cheap. They seem real yeah. expensive. Nah. <laughs> like 50K on a wedding. I'm like, what? Yeah, I, I, what? I, went, I went to one of my friend's weddings from university and he, he did it in Japan in Tokyo. And the inside of this venue looked like a fucking mini Disneyland. Like it was, there was like a castle and like a fucking fountain and this like massive, completely white church. Yeah. I'm like, how much money did you yeah, spend on how about, yeah. uh, Like what amount of money is too much to spend on a wedding? Exactly. I get that it's a special day, but, but there has to be a limit where like special day is like ridiculous. Not to mention there was like 300 people at this wedding. Yeah, because like no, nobody knows 300 people. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't even know if I have to even have that many friends on Facebook, let alone do you get, at, do at you a get, wedding. Do you like families asking like, hey, can my like family friend of a friend come? Do you get like that? Cause like, I feel like that would be like, no, I don't fucking know them. No, in, break them. in Japan, it's like the it, wedding politics extends to like, you have to invite yeah. work people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause, Cause it's all about the face, right? So yeah. like in, in Thailand, you have to invite your family, your family friends, your work colleagues, like basically everyone. I mean, close colleagues, yeah, you know. Yeah, I know, know. If, if, like, they're, if they're actual mates. I'm inviting my boss. Yeah, and another thing about Thai weddings- Maylene, which is, <laughs> Maylene, like, <laughs> shut up, Maylene. <laughs> which is why like me and Cindy decided to have our wedding in the UK. So yeah. we didn't have to worry about, you know, that that side All of the that politics. Bullshit, yeah. But like it, it's a customary in Thai weddings as well that the groom has to give money, have to, has to give like a certain amount of money mm. to the bride's like family Bro, for what? his like father to <laughs> accept or something. What era are we in? You buying her? Is that like an extra step? I, I mean, I, How that's... much is your daughter? <laughs> yeah, I'll give like, you two goats. <laughs> what, is that like an auction? <laughs> like what is this? I mean, uh, I... that's like fucking Russian like mother. Right? It's like, I give you two goats. <laughs> this feels like, this feels like an extra step to like auction. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, it's something that I don't agree with. And I've seen like some of my family members do it. And I'm just like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't kind of, I kind of don't agree with is this. That, is custom. that where it comes from? Like, where does that come from? That line? Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just wondering, does it come from something more sinister? Like way it back must, it used to it be? Must be. Like, it must know, do, right? it, it must, must do. Be. I mean, I, I'm, not I'm not sure how the custom started because you know, like it's it's something that I've attended Thai weddings and I've seen happen. Um, I've I've never kind of asked where <laughs> where where this where this came from. I just kind of was just like, yeah, I don't think I want to do that. So like, you guys just kind of do it. Did you okay. buy mum? <laughs> but yeah, but so I mean, like cheap price. <laughs> <laughs> I did it a deal. So I, mean, I mean, it's also I bargained hard. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Sorry, it's also like the same customary where it's like the bride's dad is expected to pay for, pay the, wedding, for the wedding, right? Yeah, and I'm yeah, just yeah. like, no, that, that shouldn't be the case either, yeah. right? I'd, I'd like it's 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 to me a wedding. There's there's so many customaries to weddings where that revolve around money that I just don't understand. I, I guess because like maybe I, I mean that was common. That's pretty common in the West still, right? That the uh, the other person the 
The, bride, the, the bride's parents the, will pay. Yeah. But th I mean, it's understandable when marriage used to be way younger, at like 21, yeah. 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I get it then, because you're not gonna have any money. Mm. But now people are getting married at what, like 27, 30, 30 <laughs> yeah. 35. So it's like, you know, I mean, you probably should have your own money by then, you know? Like yeah. normal. You probably should be planning a wedding if you're unemployed at 30. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know. You're just dissing her. Some yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just saying. Yeah, I mean, just, I'm know. just sorry for that guy who just like you know ha had like five children and all of them ended up being daughters. And he, he's like, <laughs> he's like fuck, <laughs> fuck, come on, come on, son, son, son. <laughs> oh god, it's, it's like the uh, like aging population like pyramid thing where it's like it won't bite you now, it'll bite you later. <laughs> 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 yeah, because isn't that like, I remember I saw like this, I don't remember if it was a Vice documentary or some kind of documentary on YouTube where like, I forgot which country it was, somewhere in the Middle East where like they still have the tradition of like wife napping. Where what? it's like, they, they dead, uh, I forgot which country it was, but I remember I saw this documentary and there's this tradition, quote unquote tradition. I've heard right, of this. Where guys, if they find a girl that they find attractive and they see as wife material, some of them will actually like, dead ass kidnap them like in broad daylight take them to, back to their parents place and the girl is then forced to get married to this guy what is this like fucking real life pokemon this sounds like yeah. runescape like this sounds like runescape yeah. oh, and, and like and like traditionally the girl can't decline it really yeah so like that she has to get married in and and there's all these and and this documentary i saw is like it's so fucking disturbing because there's these girls who are literally just breaking down while they get the veil put on top of them and shit and it's just it's fucked. Oh. <laughs> I, I I wish I could remember the the name of the documentary. Literally, or literally the was, trash taste podcast. As I was like, there was this thing I don't remember that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like we don't. Re just look just, it up. If you look up like yeah. wife we're, napping, we're, I think it's called trash just, taste like, podcast. <laughs> early onset Alzheimer's. <laughs> like, we're just fucking forgetting. We forget everything here. <laughs> Fuck. We can't remember anything. We're fucking useless. <laughs> this thing I saw on the internet, that I vaguely remember that. <laughs> but there's one detail I remember that I want to talk about now and just share to the world. <laughs> it's not fucked up. You know? I, re <laughs> I remember a perfect example of that. I I think was the, uh, there was one episode we were talking about like uh, how ve how yeah. very rarely like anime uses English like songs in their openings and endings. Yeah. And we're bringing up all these titles and we're like, oh, I'm sure there's other ones we don't know. All the titles are like, Jojo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hello. <laughs> you know that one show you're all obsessed about? <laughs> I, I just forget everything all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like when you put on the spot, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, especially yeah. when you put on the spot. And like, you're recording. And you're recording. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Just, just never it, take our word on anything. That's that's just the golden rule. <laughs> just never take our word on anything. We are not liable for anything that we <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, man, you, know, you know what I don't forget though? Cause it happened to me right yesterday. What? We got stopped by the police. What do you mean? Wow. What did you do? I'm a criminal guy. What, did you what do? illegal I... activity that you did? Being you white, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Being a minority for once. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, what did you do? Nothing. I was, so I was literally nothing. <laughs> I, I, so like, I was literally like, okay, so I'm, I'm coming up the escalator to like, you know, cause in Japan you have to like ding out of the gates, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm coming up to the escalator to go through the gates and there's like two pylons, two sets. And right. uh, so I'm coming up the escalators. I'm going to go th forward to jump ding out. And literally hiding behind the pylon as a police officer. And when I pass okay. him, I've got headphones on, I got a like cap on. So like, maybe I'll look like fucking dodgy, I don't know. Yeah. But literally when I pass this guy, I see like in my corner of my eye, this guy just jump into action. <laughs> just immediately come up to me and stop me. And I'm like, fuck, what, what have I done, dude? Right. <laughs> and I'm like, what, what's wrong? And I'm like, oh, so I, I won't say anything in Japanese. I'll just translate it all. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, oh, where are you going? And I'm like, um, <laughs> I'm just going home, you know, just chilling out, why, what's up? He's like, oh, really? Cool, cool. Can I see your, your card? So you have like a foreigner's card, right? Yeah, yeah. Which, which your bylaw, you always have to have Carry this on, uh, yeah. foreigner, what's it called? Zayu card. Zayu card, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he asked me if like Japanese is okay. I'm like, yeah, I can, I can speak a little bit. And luckily like everything he said, I understood. So it was right. good. And he was like, oh, okay. And by the way, like my, like, like, my train is in like, I think like four minutes. Right. So I'm like, come on, man, come on. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep it up, keep it up. So he looks at my card and it says like, oh, I'm an entertainer. Yeah. He's like, oh, cool, cool. What do you do? I'm like, oh, I say, uh, say you, which means like voice actor. Voice actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he's like, oh, say you. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and then he's like, oh, Ego Sensei. So like Japanese teacher. <laughs> And I'm like, what? <laughs> I literally just told you. Why would it be entertainer? I'm just sitting there like, oh no, no, no. Like, yeah. like, yeah, like say, say, like MC tour, like, yeah, so yeah, like yeah. commercials, games. It's like, oh, games. I'm like, yeah, yeah, games. He's like, what games? And I was just like, I was like, what, what do you want me to, like, you gonna look it up? Like, what do you want? So I'm like, oh, it's in English, it's in English. And he's like, oh, and dead ass, right? He goes, oh, do you play Apex? 
<laughs> no joke. He's like, he's like 40, maybe 50. Deadass asked me if I play Apex. I'm just sitting here like laughing. So I'm like, fuck. <laughs> and I shit you not. I go, I say, I say, yeah, I'm diamond rank. <laughs> and he goes, Atsuyoine. <laughs> Which means like, oh, you're strong. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, okay, this is like two minutes, two minutes. And I'm trained in two minutes. And um, he's like, oh, cool. You're from the UK. I'm like, yeah, yeah, from the UK, UK. So it's like, and at this point I feel like, oh, okay. I'm kind of like, I know he's not gonna he's like- just making yeah, yeah. He's just talking to yeah, me. Yeah. I'm not Sounds sure. like he's just looking for a friend right now. I don't know why he's talking to me. He yeah. doesn't say why he stopped me. He doesn't say anything maybe like he, that. Maybe he, he was one of the Japanese dudes you played Apex with. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah. He, he, he just looks at you and he's like, this guy gives off gamer energy. Yeah. I'm gonna stop him. <laughs> I wonder if that guy plays Apex. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna stop him and ask him. And so, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm like there and he's like, I'm from, I think I'm from the UK. Yeah, he asked where I'm from. So, so he can speak good English then. No, 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 it's all, this is all in Japanese. Okay, okay, okay. He can speak, he was Nihongo Joe. Yeah, okay. I, I, luckily everything he said, I either understood or understood enough of mm. what he's saying right, right. to form, figure out what he's like. Right. He's, yeah. He said something about, something going to UK, something, something marriage. And I'm like, ah, oh, and I said like honeymoon in like broke, like yeah, katakana, yeah. like ah, oh, honeymoon. Yeah. And he's like, ah, yeah. oh, hi, hi, hi. So he told me that he went to the UK and he loved it. He said, ano, oki ben. <laughs> Oki Ben. Oki Ben. <laughs> Oki ben. <laughs> and he said he liked, he oh, said he so liked Big Ben and that he liked Buckingham Palace. He said, I, he said the Japanese word for palace, yeah. which right. is- uh, Kyuden. Yeah, he said that something, Kyuden Bucking Palace. Buckingham Kyuden. Yeah, he yeah. said Buckingham Kyuden. And I'm yeah. like, I'm pretty sure he's saying Buckingham Palace. palace like, oh, yeah. like kid, hey, it's beautiful, yeah, isn't yeah. it? It's beautiful. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like- I got <laughs> Ben. Yeah, Orky Orky ben. Ben. <laughs> I was like laughing. I'm like, I don't want to laugh though because it's a police officer. You're like, why are you laughing? Because, <laughs> because you guys know what Bing means, right? What? It means shit. <laughs> <laughs> so saying Orky Ben. I didn't know that. It's like dead ass means giant shit. I mean, it's pretty shit. It's pretty <laughs> shit. Big shit. Yeah. Big shit. It's the big shit. I thought he, because I, I thought the word for shit was unko. No, Bing oh. is another oh, word okay. for it. Yeah. So yeah, and then he was just like, yeah, I go to Paris. I'm like, oh yeah, you like wine? <laughs> it's like, yeah, me and my wife love wine. Yeah. I'm like, cool, cool. I like wine too. And he's like, all right, yeah, you can go now. And I'm like, thanks, man. Thanks for making me miss my fucking train. <laughs> and I wait 10 minutes. So you, so you did, I was just bonded with a police officer yeah. over Apex. Yeah, luckily it was nice, but like, it's pretty like alerting when you first stop you. And I'm like, why are you stopping yeah, me? Yeah, right? Why yeah. are you stopping me? And then someone told me, uh, they were like, yeah, apparently there's like, um, some police officers like quotas of like people they have to stop. Oh, really? Makes sense. In certain areas. They've, they've, they've just got so little work to yeah. do here, yeah. right? So, and they're normally told to- I guess they're getting paid to do something. This yeah. is like the least like xenophobic way of like saying this, but apparently I've, I've been told, I don't know if this is true, uh, that some police officers are told to stop uh, foreigners to practice their English. I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. But it feels wrong. Like if, <laughs> if that happened in another country, right. you'd be like, yeah, yeah. that's fucked up. That's yeah. not right. Yeah, Fuck yeah. that. Yeah. But I mean, it, you know, like- At least they're nice about it though, right? Yeah. I just don't like that they asked for like my ID. Like, I don't know. Something about that feels weird. Like, I guess they- like, Check I, my card. I think, yeah, cause I think if, though, because they're obligated to do yeah, that. Yeah, right? I, I, I think they, I think are, they have yeah. to do that, right? Because yeah. if they- It feels threatening when someone asks for your ID. Oh, yeah. I mean, th there's never a way where a policeman asks for your ID and you don't at least sweat a little. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah no, right? I'm like-, I'm like <laughs> You do like the audible like swallow. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is literally like white guy gets like <laughs> discriminated first time in his life, POV. <laughs> <laughs> like this is like the story, right? Like, oh, this is what so it feels this, like. So this is what it feels like to be a minority. Like, Shit! Oh god, oh, this is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I know it's fucking bad. I'm just, yeah. But like, yeah. I mean, it's happened a few times. But it, it was because it happened at like 10 p.m. I was like, you know, for yeah, some yeah. reason, when it happens at night, it feels like way more like whoa. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. why are you stopping anyone else? I'm the only. I'm the only non-Japanese. Dude, you shouldn't here. have told this story on trash days. You could have easily made up. I got I, my so first I, racist experience in Japan type of video. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it on a live stream so the clip yeah. can come out before this. Part. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> good idea. Good idea. The actual, Big brain. Yeah, yeah. I just like I just I started cracking up so much when he asked me when I played Apex. I was like, Oh my god. Like, <laughs> oh my fucking god. I was like, You can't make this shit up. Like I knew when I was gonna tell the story, people were gonna be like, That's yeah. bullshit. Like, yeah. No, it actually. I wish I fucking. This recorded. is like this. Is like yeah, and and everyone applauded. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, This is too unreal that he literally just asked me if I play Apex. When, when I literally like don't shut up about it, it's like everyone. That's but it's really it's really popular in Japan. So yeah, it's, it's massive surprising. in Japan. Right what now. what are like the biggest games in Japan? I don't know. What, what genre of games? Like what in first person shooters? I think it's like Apex right now. Like because it's are, are online games big in Japan. Even yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a huge scene for it. Like a Apex right. right now is massive because. <laughs> 
Also, VTubers because, are playing Shockingly, it. because the VTubers that are playing it. It was popular before that. Yeah, but the VT- Niji Sanji it VTubers propelled the fuck out of Apex. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, because like when we moved to Japan, I think is when- PUBG was big, right? PUBG was big, but I think Apex either just released or released like a while back and they were doing a huge push for it. Because mm. the month where we moved here, every single ad I got was Apex Legends. Really? In Japan, yeah, everything was. And- um. I thought, wow, that's kind of weird because it's kind of like a dead game in like the West, or at least it was. Mm. I feel like it flip flops and whether it's popular or not. Yeah, yeah. Well, what even counts as a dead game anymore, right? <laughs> Overwatch, I'd say. <laughs> but that's because Overwatch 2 is coming out, so they're just like abandoned. Right, yeah, right. Right. Um, But like, you know, I mean, I, not a dead game, but like not in like the public discourse is what I would consider. Mm. Like, yeah. you, when, people, when people say dead game, I think that's what they mean. Like, it's not like no one plays it. It's like the, the main population is talking about it or not, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like it's not like you, you know, you're not expected to have some general knowledge about it. Cause it might, you you're know. You're not like, expected to have a police officer come up to you yeah. and say, do you play Overwatch? Do you play Overwatch? Yeah, is you open you like a like dead game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who, who do you mean? Who's your Overwatch <laughs> mate, right? Like you were tanking? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna sound like, like such a fucking boomer right now. Like what even are the popular games right now? <laughs> Right, because because like the when I think no, pop- I feel that when, I, when, I, when, I, when I think when I when I think popular game, I think you know whatever the fad is right now, like uh, Among Us and Four Guys. Well, but- I think after the Among Us kind of like settled, it definitely became a bit more variety. Like tends to be quite a lot. Like mm-hmm. uh, Valheim is picking up steam, which is kind of like a reimagining of RuneScape almost. In, like, it's 3D. like uh, all I've heard Valheim um, is is just like RuneScape. Minecraft but better graphics. <laughs> oh, I, th- I heard RuneScape with like mixed with Minecraft. Oh, really? Um, Apex has obviously had a really big resurgence, yeah. doing really good numbers. Like a lot of big streamers are getting back into it. Yeah, yeah. I think Valorant's still doing pretty well. League's obviously league. League's just um, always up there. I think CS:GO, CSGO is still GO. the same thing, where it's always been like kind of like you know the scrappy little yeah. underdog. Because I, I think the thing is, I, like I look at the top watch games on Twitch, and they're, they're normally like the games that I just never end up playing. Yeah. So yeah. I, I don't actually, I, I never actually know what and what everyone ends up playing or what's kind of popular right now. Um. I don't I don't know. Know. We haven't had any massive games recently. After Among Us, like, we haven't really had anything that's stolen the spotlight, I don't yeah. think. I could be wrong. I, I think the last time I spoke about games, I got things very wrong. People give me shit in the mouth, <laughs> fair enough, go ahead. I feel like the whole idea of like, you know, like the most popular game nowadays is a little bit blurred just because mm. like mm. anyone can play anything I feel like it's like now, there's gonna be the top know? games. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. chess has had already big resurgence, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Bloons Tower Defense 6, man. I'm telling you, man. It's, I'm, it's <laughs> coming. <laughs> Everyone's playing it, man. I'm so. stepping in before it gets me. <laughs> Fortnite, obviously, is just Fortnite. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I feel like a lot of games are just kind of like settled. Yeah. And we haven't really had anything to shake yeah, up. I'm, in a while. I mean, yeah. I'm, I remember for the longest time we're in the League community where everyone was just like, yo, League's dying. League's dying. It's, League's it's, never it's, gonna it's die. yeah, it's never going to, well, it's never going to die. Um, it, it got it plateaued, but mm. I feel like there's a difference between something plateauing yeah. and something kind of like- And also the league viewership has been like pretty consistent. Just because it plateaus of- doesn't mean it's, you know- Yeah, dying. exactly. No, no, no. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, league is still like, you know, you can still easily support a billion dollar company yeah. on the amount of people that are playing it. <laughs> yeah, so, you know. <laughs> but it's yeah. like, it's like, is it in public discourse, right or not? I, I usually mean, I usually chalk up to whether a game is popular if like- Minecraft s- as well. Like small yeah, kids, Minecraft. like the younger generation are playing it. True. Like, you know, if you go to like, like, if you go to like a primary school and they're talking about Apex and Fortnite and Minecraft, then it's like, okay, this is like the big games right now. Yeah, it's funny, man. I mean, my mom was telling me she works in a primary school. She told me like one kid got like really bullied because um, he was like bad <laughs> at Fortnite. No, wasn't there a, uh, there was a story in- ja- skin as well. Yeah, there was a story in Japan where a kid got bullied because he had the default skin in Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> Serves him right. I'm like, wow. Yeah, yeah, I no. mean, I think we've talked about this before, yeah, but I've heard yeah, the same yeah, story yeah, yeah. as well. Um, um, but like, I think, Minecraft is definitely probably the biggest. I'd say Minecraft still. is still the biggest. Minecraft's just a juggernaut at yeah. this point. It's since, not going anywhere. No. Since since I last stream, I've been like, ooh, should, should I play Minecraft? Should Come I, on, should, I Minecraft, should, should I play Minecraft? I, I, I. It's dead ass so yeah. far. It's so relaxing. If, if we all play Minecraft, you guys got to try Apex. We should do that. We should do like a <laughs> like a game cultural cr- cross pollination. Cross pollination. <laughs> we should do that. Come on. It's what the people want, Gone. <laughs> You're just never gonna give up on this. Yeah. I want because I know if you guys try it, you'll you'll have a good time. I reckon will you guys you? will enjoy it. Yeah, I, I think you will. I think every person who ever nah, 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 offered nah. me an FPS game said the same thing. It's because this is with the boys. So you know, <laughs> I definitely. heard it about Fortnite. I heard it about Overwatch. I've <laughs> yeah. already talked about this. We'll give it yeah. a shot. We'll give it a shot. We'll, right. we'll try it, guys. Don't okay. worry. I'll, I'll convince them. So I guess switching gears. Mm. Did you guys hear about this like deep fake story that happens? I think today. Or yesterday. No. So yesterday for us, but it'll probably be like three weeks for the audience. Yeah, three weeks, three weeks for the so audience. So facts may come out. I mean, uh, yeah, totally I, I well. have not. Well, like with deep fake becoming like such a big, th- or like a bigger thing now. Mm. So 
I, I, uh, I can't remember. We're, we're going to go back to this. I like, <laughs> can't a, remember every can't detail remember. of the story, but I think the main gist of it was there was his mum mm. and she had a daughter who was on the cheerleading squad. Can I we get Maylene to check the story while we're talking about it? Yeah. Just Google deep fake news. That'll be like yes. a top story. So I, I believe there was his mum who had a daughter who was on the cheerleading squad. Mm. Um, and there were other girls mm. on that cheerleading squad. And for some reason she wanted the, she wanted to kick these other girls off of the squad, right? So what she did is she made some deep fakes for, like of the other girls. Like smoking, yeah, drinking. Yeah, like smoking, drinking, naked, I think. Oh, doing, wow. doing like bad illegal activities or whatever. Right, right. And I think threatening them with it. Right, yeah. or like I can't remember if she threatened them or she sent them straight to Not the Not sure school. how she did it, but yeah. I think they, they saw it. And the reason why it got even found out was because they took it to the police. Like yeah. A few of them went to the mm. police. Yeah, and how she got found out was she used the fake number. She used like this internet service that gave, them a, gave her a fake number, but that didn't hide her IP address. And that's the only reason she Cut got found sponsor. out. <laughs> 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 this, ep this episode is sponsored by- <laughs> you, know, you know, I don't think she would've got caught if she was sponsored by. <laughs> 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 I don't think our sponsor would be very happy. No. That's why we're not gonna mention any names. Yeah, but I mean, I, I saw it and I'm just like, well, I can't believe they actually took this long you for something what, like this to happen. You know what the most unbelievable part of the story is? That there's a mum out there that's tech savvy enough. Cause my mum- That's was, what I thought. My, you, I don't even think my mum knows what a fucking deep fake is, no. let alone how to, she doesn't even know how to search for files on Windows. I'm actually <laughs> impressed her mum knew how to make a deep fake. No, because uh, I'm impressed- like, what? <laughs> I'm impressed that mum knew how to do a deep fake, but I'm even more like, because, okay, um, I. Not sure if any of this is confirmed, mm. so I'm gonna put out a disclaimer that we could be totally wrong. This could be. Uh, yeah. Please check this. Do story your own the research. Time yeah, by, of by by the time this comes out, all right. Okay, all right, go on. I'll tell the story while. But I can't by by the time this come out comes out, everything might be confirmed. This might all have been like false information, or it would it might have just been like claims. But mm. at the time of recording, we don't know if it's real or not. But these are what the allegations are. All right. uh, and the allegation was that she did this because. The daughters on the cheerleading squad, she stopped hanging out with her daughter. <laughs> and so she, she wanted to get them kicked off because of that. And I'm just thinking, if someone's this petty to be this crazy, <sighs> how dare you are not real. How, how did she manage to figure out how to do deep fakes? They all, she also sent them anonymous messages telling them to, that they should, you know, end their own lives as well to the, these kids. <sighs> the mum did that? The mum did that. What the fuck? This fucking, how, this is some fucking- Some people are not supposed to be like, parents. This yeah. is so like cartoon villain. <laughs> like it's so absurd that someone could be this fucked. Oh my God. Yeah. But I'm, I mean, I saw that and I'm just thinking, my first thought was I'm one, I'm surprised that it took this long for something like this to happen. Right. right. This mugshot looks like she's tore someone's face off. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. God. Like, she I, looks I mean, like a Disney villain, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, Ma yeah, Maleficent just ripped someone's face off and stitched it. That's like- I shouldn't uh, say that, it's probably too, going too far, isn't it? That's like, that's like Actually, the- Actually, no, fuck you. you just <laughs> 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 Telling kids to, what? What's that actually yeah, yeah. looks like she's that wearing is, someone else's face. Oh my yeah. God. You know what that's more concerning about that? That was someone's parent. Yeah. yeah. Holy yeah. fuck. Imagine being raised by someone like that. Holy fuck, that kid's gonna be fucked. The, yeah, the, the kid's gonna end up like that. But, oh apparently, but, apparently, but apparently the kid knew nothing. Like the mum did this without telling the kid. She did this by herself, so. How, how, uh, how do you even tell the kid like, the kid's like, are you, you cool with this kid? Are you cool? No, I'm not. <laughs> mum, what's wrong with you? <laughs> there's, yeah. a, there's replying back to a, a nasty tweet and then there's creating deep fakes. Please, please don't tell my schoolmates to go kill themselves and make deep fakes <laughs> when of I, them. When I would tell my mum that I was being bullied, she wasn't thrilled about it, yeah. Yeah. but she was like, you know, I'm not happy about this. I'm, yeah. like, I'm putting a word to the teacher, but it's, you're on your own kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is your problem. You just learn exactly. how to deal with it. Like, I can't deal with this shit. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> like, I mean, fucking hell. That's, okay. That's so, scary. Like, I mean, it's just so many of these, the, the parts of this story is actually insane yeah. that this could happen. It is literally like a horror movie plot. It like, is. You can't yeah, make, what? This is, this is kind of like, it's, just, uh, it's almost too cartoony to be a Black Mirror episode. That's what, that's what it I is, think. It is, it is. It's so like, if this was a Black Mirror episode, you'd be like, yeah, twist's really predictable, like really really <laughs> yeah. over the top. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, like, it's like, like a B grade horror film, right? Like the mum's kind of an unbelievable villain here. She could have used more character development, more motivation. No, this is reality. But what scares me is that like, 
what what does this mean for the future of deepfakes now? Because like mm. uh, this week, especially I, this new apps come up where it's gotten really easy to deepfake, yeah. you know, deepfake, you know, use use it for memes, use it for harmless memes to yeah. make people sing fucking Bakamitai or- I mean, you know, or, we're, we're used to, you know, people doing fucking terrible photoshops or doing stuff yeah. like that. So yeah. if someone sent me a video of me doing something I clearly didn't do or right. never ever did, I'd be like, I don't really give a fuck. I'm, it's fake, right? Yeah. And I'll say it's fake and yeah. that'll probably be the end of it. But to someone who's never really had anything online or any kind of like, you know, posted anything about themselves outside of like their personal Facebook, I can see why receiving a video that looks like you doing something that you didn't do could be mm. fucking terrifying. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. And that you would think that, wow, people are really going to believe this, even though, yeah. you know, realistically, they're probably not going to if you explain that it's fake. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's gotten to a point where, like, for people like us, especially, where we show our faces on camera pretty often, it, it wouldn't be hard to make a convincing deep yeah. fake with, you know, well, us coming on camera I, literally every I, week. I think we all uh, we all agree on this that you do not have permission to make any deep fakes of us, and we don't condone any of them, by the way. Just yeah. saying that. <laughs> You're legally not allowed to do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is there anything legal that's, you know, that. Yeah, you can't, you're not like, I think legally speaking, you can't like just do that. Yeah. Um, depending on what jurisdiction you're in. Yeah. So I remember Tom Scott did a video about it. Right. Um, yeah. I think I think the laws around it are a bit iffy and obviously stuff like this always takes because time. Because it's such a new thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. It's, 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 a, it's a really new thing. Cause like, but, you know, I've seen like the Bucky Mutai deep fakes. I'm just yeah. like, you know, this is funny meme, whatever. Yeah. But then I don't know how would, I would feel if I saw the, like, you know, the KSI Ainsley Harriet deep fake. Cause that's, no, that's, that's, that's so good. Though. That's so good. so good. It's funny as fuck, but then, <laughs> Also some, so some, something at yeah. the back of my mind, which makes me like, that's fucking worrying. That yeah, how good it I, is. How good it yeah. is. And I'm glad it's been used as a funny meme, but yeah. my God, if, if I saw, if I saw my face on somebody else like that, I would just think, damn, I'm glad this is being used for, for a funny meme, but yeah. this could be used for something that's really and Luckily harsh. right now, as many deep fake things are being made, there's just as many things that are detecting if deep fakes have been made, like mm. programs that are being written to detect them. Mm -hmm. So right now it's like, it's, a lot of softwares will detect when the when it, it's a deep fake. Mm. Yeah, but we, whether it'll get to the point in future that it, that it isn't. Do you so do you do you, th do you think like it's only a matter of time before we get our first deep fake cancellation? No, uh, I think I think we're quite far away from that. Right. I think I think they're still too rough, and the technology isn't there yet. But I think it's possible within like. I've seen years. some deep fakes that are really fucking convincing though. But like the the videos are like. Always in like 480p max. Right. Like, and- But that's like kind of the video you would expect for, I don't know, like the kind of phone quality exposed yeah, videos. They're yeah. never like 720p, 4K. It's always like fucking <laughs> PlayStation eye camera. Quality, <laughs> but I right? think the, the more, the easier it gets to cancel someone from a deep fake, the less canceling will happen. Cause everyone will be like, it's a deep fake. Is it a deep fake? Or everyone's gonna defense is gonna be, it's a deep fake. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> But that, like how that, long- That video of me punching a baby, deep fake. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, no. how long until the deep fake argument is going to be legitimate, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the moment that you can cancel someone for a deep fake is when that argument will become valid. Right. Because yeah. they'll be like, oh, I mean, you saw you saw that deep fake? It was, yeah, it was a deep fake. It's a really good deep fake. <laughs> Looks so <Yeah>. real. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe it yeah. myself. It's, our world's gonna become a lot more messy when it gets there, unfortunately. Yeah. But you know, it's- uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing, what's scary is that there's nothing to stop the technology being out there. Mm. But I mean, I, I guess you can argue this for a lot of things because I remember when, you know, 3D printers became a thing and then- I, Well, you can still 3D print guns. Yeah, you, exactly. You, you, <laughs> can, you, you can, can still it. 3D print guns. You shouldn't, but yeah, you I mean, you, you shouldn't, and I believe it's illegal, yeah. right? Uh, well, it's it's most the laws like, around it are real weird. I think. I think, really? I think what it is is that there's most uh, 3D printing machines can detect if it's like the blueprint of a gun or a firearm or something and just yeah. not- Well, it's it like a Photoshop. If you put a picture of the, the dollar bill in, mm. uh, they won't let you do anything to it. Yeah. It'll like stop you. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had no idea about that. They, yeah, it's, it's so they don't want you to Photoshop it to like try and like, you know, because the software is so powerful. Yeah, print, Photoshop print is- Print out free yeah, money, yeah. yeah Photoshop yeah. is really powerful tool. Yeah. And the stuff that they're constantly adding to it is just, you know, adding to the repertoire of how strong it is. And it's mm. like very concerning. But then again, you know, it's like when Photoshop first started as well. Like we were all yeah. like, oh my God, people are gonna be like, it's it's crazy, you know? Like they're, they're, everyone's gonna start getting canceled. They're gonna be, people are gonna put Nicolas Cage in orgies, although that's- really I mean, unrealistic. that's, that kind that's of not that. unrealistic. <laughs> Bad example. <laughs> we've, we've has like, I can't remember there being a case where someone got in trouble for a Photoshop picture, like a big story. Like, mm. because normally, you know, a picture at least, you know, there needs to be a lot more context behind why the picture exists. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And without reasonable context of why 
the picture would exist, people aren't really gonna believe it. Yeah, I yeah. feel like it's probably gonna be the same for a video. Like if there's a video of like, I don't know, like Robert Downey Jr. just like I said, like punching a kid in like a park or something. It's gonna be like, well, one, why is Robert Downey Jr. in a park? Yeah. Why is he playing basketball with a kid then punching him, right? <laughs> it's just gonna be like, the, the context is gonna be needed. Like there's yeah. gonna be so many questions that are gonna need to be answered before you take a video seriously. I think that's gonna probably yeah, but but like face. how long until you do run into like that you know perfect situation where it's like oh this the is story is there yeah. the narrative is there everything lines up the only difference is that Robert Downey Jr. didn't I actually mean, punch the kid yeah I mean like but I can make him punch the kid <laughs> <laughs> he was close so, yeah. I mean I mean fucking fake news articles are bad enough already yeah. you know with with how you know there are fucking anti-vaxxers and flat mm. earthers and just things that have been enabled because it's so easy to stay in your bubble and yeah, really mm. like strengthen your own argument and your it's own. It's a views. worrying time. I don't it, know. It is. A, it is definitely a worrying time. But I don't let it get to me. I'm, trying, <laughs> I'm trying to enjoy life. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm just a, trying to live my best life. The world may be ending, but I'm gonna have a good time. <laughs> I'm gonna still laugh at these memes. <laughs> I care about what I need to care about no more. That's kind of how I like to do it. Like, yeah. I just think that after a certain point, if you just start worrying about everything, you're just gonna be fucking miserable. And like, yeah. I yeah. think obviously, you know, when it comes to like, you know, you're voting on your politician, your area. Yeah, I think you should care about that and that yeah. should matter. But like beyond that, do I care if a news presenter in the US says like something fucking abhorrent? I'm like, no, honestly, it's not really my problem. And I don't really give a fuck. Like maybe that that's, I don't know. Is that is that like elitist to think that? Like, I, I think it's just- outside of my like, like, you know, I don't know. To me, like stuff that goes on in the US sometimes, I'm like, that's honestly not my problem. Yeah. Like, mm. is that Think bad? Like, so some people say that's like a, like, is it like a pre prejudiced or ignorant mindset. Where it's like, I, mean, I, it, I have it, the luxury it, where it I can depend, do that. It right. depends on the context, right? Because yeah. the problem is that, the problem with that argument I feel is that yeah. there's no way a human can care about absolutely everything. Yeah. True, so true, at true. some point you're going to have to pick and choose what you care about. Yeah. Otherwise, one, you're probably gonna be a miserable fuck. Yeah. And two, you're gonna wake up and you're gonna you're just gonna be exhausted and not gonna be able to do anything on the day because you just feel flooded. And I feel flooded enough yeah, yeah. with my own social media right now and like let it and this is me like where social media is so intertwined with our jobs. So I see this stuff and I'm just like, I can't care about it. I'm pretty sure stuff. that's how people become nihilists, right? They just yeah. like they look at the world, it's like, oh the world is shit. <laughs> I guess nothing matters yeah, I mean, anymore, like, right? It feels like it's just been so much like heavier as well ever since the pandemic as mm. well. Cause yeah, like, yeah. you're just trying to like get by, you know, life's already difficult enough and then yeah. shit's going on. You're like, fuck yeah. man. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm literally just trying to be happy for like 10 <laughs> seconds yeah. here. Can I have this? Yeah, I, I, I kind of feel a bit jealous of our parents when they only had to care, care about the shit that was happening around them. Now I have to care about shit that's happening halfway across the world. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like when I see like, you know, my, my parents are gonna get fucking furious that they changed the bin size of like the council <laughs> by like 10% lower. They're like, oh my God, this is un unreasonable. You know, and like, I just miss the days where I could give a fuck about stupid shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Now I gotta worry about like, literally like cultural shit ending stuff. Shit that has stuff. nothing to know. do yeah, with yeah. you, right? Yeah. It's just like, I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I wanna care about everything and I wanna give like people who are fighting for like legitimate, like good fights. I wanna help them out. But at the same time, it's like, there's so much fucking like shit going on. And yeah. obviously the internet has obviously made all the information even more accessible. So there's so many more things to care about. Mm, yeah. Like, all right, I'm trying to care about global warming, right? I don't want to waste too much food, right? What's going on over here? What's yeah. the, there's a civil war going on in this country and like atrocities happening. How do I, how do I like legitimately like give my energy? You're literally to just like explaining like everything. how to live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's, that's just life, isn't it? Yeah, like, and I don't want to be like, um, global warming is more important than people dying in this country. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? It's like, how, how do, where do you, where do you draw the line on where to start caring? Well, I mean, I think you can like, you know, pick and choose what you care about, but it's the difference between being publicly open about this stuff, right? It's like, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say yeah. I don't care about something as much or as like, yeah. oh, it's, oh my God, this is so tough to talk yeah, about. I mean, it, like, it, it, is, it literally right? makes yeah. you sound like an asshole if you yeah. say you don't give a fuck about, like, Maylene, like what everything. do you think, Maylene? Well, no, they keep <laughs> You're our manager. We we make sure we don't get cancelled. Are we gonna get cancelled for this mail-in? But no, no. But no, I I, I totally understand because mm. it, I I feel like that's just part of being human, right? And, you yeah. know, there's gonna be people that's you know make the argument. Well, you're priv privileged enough that you don't have to care about it, right? Yeah. But I I would argue that surely, surely. You can't, you also mm. can't care about every single issue happening in the world because you you feel strongly about this one issue because it definitely affects you and I understand that. But surely that means that you can't put the energy into caring about another issue. I don't think yeah. there's, I don't right? think there's any person out there living any type of life, pre like, you know, uh, prejudiced or um, not prejudiced, uh, privileged or not, who can dead ass be in a position where it's like, 
right now everything in the world I need to worry about yeah. because it's important to me. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter who you are. Like there's gonna be one piece of news where you're just like, that, that has nothing to do with me. Something that resonates with you. Yeah. And that like, that you really believe in. Yeah. And that you fight towards like helping that. I'm yeah. like, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm down with that, man. Yeah. I mean, yeah. At least you're fighting towards something, right? It's better than someone just yeah. getting up in the morning being like, I don't care about any of this shit. Yeah, I mean like it's, it's really, what it doesn't really bother me much when people get like angry about you know, like, oh my God, you don't care about this. But I hate people who are like, you don't care enough about this specific thing. Yeah. And like, you should be so angry about this thing. And I'm like, man, I am like, literally just trying to get by. Yeah, like, like what, what dictates like the quantitative worth of yeah, how much always, you care there's about there's some people right? who get willing to get like outraged and like really yeah. li like light a fire up their ass for something, you know? Yeah. And like, and I, you yeah. know, obviously, we need we need people like that. Yeah, yeah of course. You know? yeah. Although shit doesn't get done. But you can't expect yeah. any everyone to be like. Yeah, that, but right? then yeah. I feel, I hate it when I see people like blackmailing other people, being like, you should care more. You should care so yeah. much more about because this. because yeah. it, the the problem with the argument is that there's no way to frame it without the person yeah. without the person who you know cares less about the topic. Mm. There's no way to frame that argument without making them making them like look good, you mm. know, because it's just okay. You don't care about it, therefore you are the asshole because yeah. you don't care about this important issue. Yeah. And I feel like. Can we just accept that we are all human? Yeah. You know, we we why we are all just trying to get by. Everyone has different issues. Some matter more than others, but it, it's 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 a lack of empathy. You know, you, we in order to empathize with your problem, you at least have to give us some empathy as well. You know, and, and yeah. I feel like there's there's. There's just a there's just like a lack of empathy yeah. in that sense mm -hmm. in that kind of yeah. argument. I'd like to think if I'm being ignorant on any of this that you know it won't, it won't result in fucking let's cancel the boys. But I mean, just let me know down below. I'll, I'll I will read the comments. So if I am missing any like big point here mm. or I'm being yeah. ignorant, so please do let me know because I would like to change my mindset. I don't think it's I don't think it's ignorance personally. Yeah, I think no. it's just like being honest. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I'm exactly the same. I try to keep a, as open mind as possible yeah. about yeah. everything. Um, and I've, you know, ch I've definitely changed my viewpoints on certain topics, mm. thanks to what people have said and yeah, what's been yeah, discussed. Of course. There, there's words. I like. There was one person who, um, because I think uh, uh, someone tweeted at me and was like, Connor, shouldn't say the word crackhead is like a descriptive word. It's a bad word because uh, it, it apparently has to do with a lot of, um, you know, like racial stereotyping back in the war on drugs in America and stuff, and it's used as a derogatory term. So I just stopped saying it. That was just because someone tweeted at me saying, stop saying it. And I was like, well, mm. I don't really need this word. Like, yeah. and you know, cause I said it a lot on the podcast and you know, I realized afterwards I'm like, yeah, I mean, there's like way better ways to describe that. What I was trying to, that feeling I was trying to get across without using that. And I'm like, yeah, I don't really need to use that word. I haven't said it since on mm. like podcast or anything. So I'm like, oh, I haven't said it ever. And I just don't feel the need to. And I'm like, cool. Thanks for letting me know commenter. Like if I have a bad habit, let me know. I'll, I'll try and get rid of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you're like Connor, you're fat, fuck you. I'm working <laughs> on it. <laughs> Other things, okay. Now, the ones I hate the most are, Connor, you're fatter. <laughs> it's like, wow, thanks. <laughs> that's always rough. Cause that's like, oh my God. Yeah, I, I always feel bad for people when the, it's in that situation. It's, oh, it's rough, man. Comments, comments be brutal sometimes. Comments, be brutal. Yeah. comments really do pick apart like everything. Yeah, yeah. But it's cool though. Cause sometimes you miss something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, I, I feel like having a good balance is the healthy thing because yeah, yeah. Um, you have to find this balance between knowing that you can't please everyone mm -hmm. um, and finding a balance between, okay, this 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 person's making a legitimate point. I, I can change my behavior because, you know, he yeah. Yeah, they may, they're making a sound argument and I completely understand. I mean, a comment section full of yes men is just kind of boring, isn't it? <laughs> it's yeah. a read. Well, I mean, you know, people have that, you know, when I, when I read comments about trash taste, I'll be like, oh, I fucking hate Joe or I fucking hate Connor, yeah. right? And I'm like, well, I mean, I get it, right? Cause it's like, I guess to us, they're, yeah. like, we're like characters. Yeah, that's fine, man. <laughs> like, like, you know, it's it's yeah. all good, dude. You got, you got your favorite, I yeah. get it. If I you got it. your favorite, it's all good, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, but then when sometimes they go a little too far with it, like, man, I wish Connor would just fucking quit the podcast. It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like all right, I'm all sorry, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. It's not gonna happen, but like, if it did, do you really, do you think everyone wants that yeah. like, I don't know, like I don't know. There are some that are just like, man, I wish Connor would just deck Gant in the face or something. <laughs> or like, other way around. And I'm just like, I will <laughs> off camera. <laughs> I was like, man, is this is this how friends act? You know, at least wait till the trash taste special where we <laughs> like to have a boxing match or something. Right? <laughs> Not that we have anything planned. Uh, that was just me. So People like, gonna be boxing special. <laughs> <laughs> boxing match confirmed. 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 <laughs> I'd, I'd actually like unironically love to be in like a YouTuber boxing match because I, I just think like one. Maylene's like getting ideas right now. Maylene's like multi-million dollar deal. Like, no, I, I wish I could bring in multi-million. <laughs> I, I don't know. Cause like I, I, one, you get an excuse to train. 
You could yep. probably hire a personal coach, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd probably get in mad shape for that and it'd probably be fun. I guess, <laughs> I'd play the villain. I'd love that. That'd be so much fun. <laughs> but who would I fight though? You know, that's the thing. Right. Yeah. I haven't got any enemies. So I should start beef with someone. Well, stop flexing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Is not having enemies like something to brag about? Like, man, Connor doesn't, Connor, does, Connor doesn't hate anyone. I mean, man. I don't even I don't ask for feel. enemies and I have enemies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, enemies are very strong words. Yeah. There's probably some people who dislike me, but like, yeah. I, I don't have any like open beef with anyone on YouTube. Right. No. I mean, I don't really fucking do anything. I just kind of just do my own thing. I mean, there's, yeah. there's a difference between having YouTuber beef and having actual real beef where you have a big problem with someone. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Was like, would you, what would you categorize like the KSI Logan Paul stuff? Would you just you, pure YouTube beef or like that, legit? That has to be YouTube beef, right? It I was mean, so over the top. I mean, I don't like, I, I mean, think they hated I mean, each other. If, yeah. And I think along the way they started yeah. liking. Even if it yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it started as legitimate beef. And then they were like, hold on, hold we, on. Can, we can make money off we're of this. We're making tens of millions of dollars here. <laughs> hold on, hold the phone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, f I feel like the line is blurred where you have a financial incentive to have beef. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, they're like, if they're just Bro, like shit talking each it. other on Twitter. I can see the light bulb light in um, over Mailing's head right now, just like lighting up, bro. <laughs> She's <laughs> like, she has a pog face right now. <laughs> well, Cause, cause they it's, made they made like over like what 20 30 million dollars each something yeah, yeah. like that because yeah. it's not it's not actually beef like personal beef about anything that really matters right. like mm. no one told like one of their moms to go fuck themselves or yeah. like or you know like, like it was like, like yeah the insults were dude the fucking uh the pre-match like beef like shit talking things right. were the best yeah. part of the boxing matches. <laughs> they were so bad at talking shit to each other. It was like it was, it was like wrestling level. Yeah. Yeah. It was way beef talking. It was even more, way no, 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 no. Wrestle, yeah. Wrestling has wrestling good, wrestling has good shit about? talking. I've seen man. some wrestling beef oh, like, just like talking. Like, uh, just like, guys, like kindergarten insults. Like my dad works for Microsoft. Like, <laughs> while while my dad works for Sony. <laughs> my dad is Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like my dad knows Shigeru Miyamoto. It's like what? My dad is Shigeru. My dad's Goku. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, watching, watching, uh, if you, uh, I mean, if you didn't give a shit about any of the YouTube boxing, it was quite entertaining as much as- uh, It was entertaining terrible. to watch us. Like I, I paid for the pay per view. Cause I'm like, you know what? If I, if I can, if you can make this a thing on YouTube, I'm, I'm more no, than happy I, I, to make yeah, it I paid for it because I'm just like, you know what? You are making entertainment. I, I fucking get that. I, I'm, I'm watching a clown fiesta <laughs> and I'm watching to, I'm paying to watch the circus, but I'll pay to watch the circus, you know? Yeah. No, and I, I want more of this. I think this is great for YouTube and also, for boxing, it did like wonders. Yeah, and it was like it's like the whole it was like the uh, renaissance of boxing, right? Well, basically. I mean, for, for like the people in our age group, yeah, like for my, people who my, didn't care yeah, about because yeah, like right? yeah. you know my dad, my dad loves boxing, mm. and my my dad's age bracket love boxing. Mm. Like, yeah, they, they love it. But like you know, under under thirty and I think mid thirties, they don't fucking give a shit about boxing. Mm. Yeah, like a lot of people don't. I mean, I'm sure there is a there's a good there's a good segment of people who probably love boxing yeah, and MMA and all that. Yeah, but it wasn't like nearly as popular as it used to be mm. with our age group at least. Yeah, yeah, because boxing was like you know some of the most classic moments in sporting are oh, boxing yeah, matches, yeah, yeah. like anything like Rumble in the Jungle, you know, anything yeah. with Muhammad iconic, Ali. Iconic. Like, I fu mm. fucking iconic to this day. And, you know, I, I grew up in an era where I didn't even watch any boxing match, I don't think. I don't. I didn't watch boxing matches. I don't think I've ever sat down and watched a boxing match in my life. I, I would just, my dad loved watching it and he'd be like, man, this guy's fighting this guy for the world heavyweight. And I'm like, who yeah. are these two people? <laughs> yeah, no, because like, if you're a kid and your parents weren't into it, then how the fuck can you afford to watch the pay-per-view? Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, like yeah. there's there's no way you could watch it. And it's always in American time. So it's always at like 3 a.m. And you had to pay for like Sky, which is already like 40 pounds a month. And you pay an extra 20 pounds on top to get the pay-per-view. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. just, yeah, it was uh, crazy. Yeah. I I mean, I, I don't know. It's like, uh, what do you think about the whole, uh, I don't know if this is changing gears too fast, but uh, what do you think about the whole th thing where everyone's like, man, they're, they're ruining like boxing by bringing in these influences to it. Cause it's happened with chess as well. Oh, uh, by bringing in these like non-traditional- Where you bring like, in like, you know, you kind of, I guess they, the way they would argue is like, you're diluting like the sport right. by making it like- I don't, under I don't understand how putting more eyes onto a sport ruins it. Yeah. Because the whole point of keeping a sport alive is that a sport is kept alive yeah. by how many viewers watch it. Mm. Yeah. You know? I mean, there's there's a side of it where I can understand. Like, you know, for chess, like at least, you know, what if you start at age 12, right? And then you're like, you're like 30 now, you're a grandmaster. You've literally been playing your whole life for chess, right? Yeah. You're about to like, this is your time to shine. Mm. And then fucking Pog Champs has like, you know, 20, 30 times more viewers than anything you ever will get. 
Mm. I, I could I could understand why they're mad. Yeah. Right. That just sounds but, like that just sounds like a villain protagonist to some yes, sports anime. Yes. I understand I, no, no, why no, you're a mad. villain backstory to some sports it's anime, super, right? It's super easy to understand why they would get mad, but then you know, if you like anyone, it's like a YouTube video, right? If I right. make a YouTube video and I'm a small YouTuber, right? About um, <clears throat> about this Mike Wazowski figure, mm, right? right? And then Gaunt, we, you know, who has, you know, a million, uh, let's say Gaunt has, let's say Gaunt has th 3 million, right? And a YouTuber with 10,000 makes a video about Mike Wazowski. And Gaunt pretty much does like nearly a one for one video, you know, but in Gaunt's style, mm. right? Yes. That guy will be angry. He's like, Gaunt just made my video, but to a bigger audience, he's gonna get all the views. Mm, yeah. What you're not seeing is a huge kick that you're gonna get a bunch of trickle down views. Yeah, of course. And that's what's gonna happen with all the stuff is that, yeah, you're not gonna see the immediate results of, you know, getting uh, the trickle down effect from all these massive events with like normies, if you will. Right, but they. But I think the problem is that most of these like quote unquote purists don't see it as a trickle down effect. They just see, no, it, as, no, I, they, I, I, they see it as like sloppy seconds, right? Well, yeah, they see it as like, you're ruining the sanctity of my yeah. sport. It's like, I wanted um, all the eyes to come to me first. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. And, but you know, it, it's, you know, again, more eyes, more sponsor money. It's all good. Yeah, it's I mean, all, like, I think we talked about this like two weeks ago where you have to evolve with the times, mm, right? Yeah. Mm. And there's got, the, you have to have, you have to find a way to garner interest in mm. your sport. It's in, like keep up or get left behind. Yeah, I mean, you know, sports like boxing and chess are lucky that they've been, they've had such a good history and a good mm. legacy where mm. that is like kind of carried them a bit in the modern age. Yeah. And where they had like a solid fan base. Yeah. But obviously, you know, if they want to modernize to a point where they want to get bring in a bunch of new viewers, you got to mix it up. Mm -hmm. And chess is having like a massive renaissance now. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for chess. Like chess streamers, the biggest ones are, yeah, Hikara's pulling in like plus 25K, I think mm -hmm. a stream. Mm -hmm. uh, like, and a bunch of the other bigger ones are pulling in like over 5K viewers on Twitch. And it's, yeah. and it's not like, like, you know, nuts. just because you like pull in new viewers, I feel like that doesn't like, dilute, you know, the history that has already been built no, up, right? No, like, no. like people are still gonna look back to like the greats of the times, yeah, you I mean, know, once they get into it. still the greats right? going on right now. Yeah. It's just people just, people just don't like that they're not the ones that are solely being talked about. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I think one of, one of the big things is that I think, I, I don't know, I might be talking out my ass, but it seems like, like a lot of the younger generations are less, there's less of a focus on sports and more people are like getting into like video games and stuff like that. Like we literally talked about how uh, my nephew got bullied because he wanted to play sports, but everyone was playing Fortnite. Whereas yeah. when I was mm. growing up, the, the cool, other way around. The, yeah, the, it was the other way yeah. around. The cool kids were playing sport and that's why sports had such like so many eyes on it. And now mm. I think because less kids might, might be interested in sports. You mm -hmm. know, you have to find a new way to appeal to a younger audience. Otherwise they're just not gonna give a shit yeah. at the end of the day. I mean, this is gonna sound weird, but I think that video games are now more accessible than sports. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think would that's say so. why they're doing better. Like mm. if you wanna play a game of rugby or football, you need, you need what, like at least five a side. You need a lot of people to get that done. You gotta go and, to a, and a lot of space. Yeah. yeah, a lot of space, right? Like anyone can play a video game on their smartphone or whatever. Anyone yeah. anyone can download chess. Anyone can play Madden. <laughs> yeah, like it's like, you know, a lot of the sports, like I love I love swimming, but like finding a swimming pool in Japan is so hard. Like, yeah, without paying out the ass, right? Yeah, and there's not one anywhere near us. And like I don't I don't fucking know where to go. And like I mean, so, there's one there's like gyms that have them, but you have to pay like yeah, 150 yeah. So bucks like, a month to access them. Yeah, right? most sports that I liked as a kid, I realized how lucky I was that there was like, in the UK, you have so many sports centers mm. all around where you can yeah. do this. But now I'm like, fuck, it's so, it's so hard to do the sports that I want to do and get into it. Yeah, and, yeah. I want to get back get, into sports. And get like a, a, a newer generation into them. Cause it's yeah. like, I mean, I'm not being funny. How are you going to convince a kid to go, you know, play golf when he can play <laughs> Mario golf? It's so accessible, <laughs> so easy. <laughs> Like it's and the problem is golf looks so boring. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but golf, like I, I cannot, there are some sports where I'm just like, I do not understand how people can watch this and be entertained because I've like, I've played golf before um, because like I, um, I used to like live kind of near a driving range mm. and it's just so I you know had, had a period where I, I just really enjoyed playing golf. It was really satisfying mm. to like smack the ball. Um, wasn't rich enough to afford my own golf club. So, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, like another, another barrier to entry. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Sports. That's another barrier to entry, but it's really fun to play golf. My God, it's so boring to watch. I, I cannot <laughs> watch a golf game. I mean, I'm sure the people who are watching this who love watching golf and I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint I'm so, you. I'm sorry. One but but there's like, there's so many sports like that though. Like I used to play tennis, like a lot. Tennis but is I can, yeah. but I cannot sit down and watch a tennis match. Ooh, I don't know. I can. I yeah, can. Some, I some, 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 some games are so some good games. Though. But they are yeah. long. They are long. Yeah. They, they are, they are but, very but it's long. So, but I find it just so weird and interesting how like, 
I can I myself love playing the sport and yet I can't bear to sit down and watch the sport. Mm. Yeah. Like you'd think if someone played the sport, they would be just as interested to watch it as well, right? Because no, they're already always, doing it. Because it's like the the inverse is also true as well, where mm. I might like have no interest in playing the sport, but I love watching it. Oh yeah, but yeah. like that's like, more common, I feel. Yeah, like, yeah, like me with league. <laughs> <laughs> is that a sport? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, like for example, I don't know. There's there's always going to be like massive sports like football. Oh yeah, it's not. Really uh, good, yeah. Which that's not going to go away. That's like too deeply ingrained. But I feel like that that's why the Olympics is so weird to me, right? Mm. Because you end up watching a load of these sports which you would, in any other circumstances, have no interest in watching. But yeah. it's the Olympics. You know, yeah. does anyone want to watch like men's volleyball? Anyone? <laughs> you know, I never gave a shit about archery until I watched <laughs> yeah. the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. Right? I it's like, there, damn. Are, there are a lot of sports <laughs> that are interesting when you have them or you experience them once every four years. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. There are, and, and your country's kind of in the race, right? Cause you got a little, you got a, you got a, a horse to, to root for, right? Yeah, but yeah. you know, <laughs> I don't think a archery week by week, Monday night archery, you know, like, you know, you got to build, you got to build storylines. You got to build up The, the Olympics definitely like, opened yeah. my eyes to like some sports being really like handball. fun. I never fucking saw handball Oh my God, before. curling? And curling as I well. I fucking love watching curling. The curling's fun to watch. I never thought I'd be into it, but I was like, you know what? This this is hype as fuck. I don't know why. Curling is like a Mario Party game that actually got turned into a real sport. It's like a mini game, but like <laughs> every round yeah. is curling. Literally like by accident, they're like, let's just fucking make it real. Yeah. <laughs> That's one sport I really want to play, like try out. Is there like a sport that you've never done that you want to try? Uh <laughs> Speed ice skating it looks so cool. The racing. Speed. There was um. That's that's. that's I, seems so dangerous. I thought about yeah. that because there was uh somebody who watches Trash Taste reached out to me on Twitter and I was yeah. like because they were verified and they had like one thousand followers. And I'm like what the yeah. fuck? And they were Sports? they were on like yeah they were a pro ice skater in like oh, I think nice. America or Canada. Yeah. They're like yeah I love Trash Taste and they were on the Olympic team. Oh wow! Oh, wow! For, uh, like ice skating and they watch it. So I think I think ice skating's real cool. <laughs> <laughs> real cool. Teach me. <laughs> No, I love ice skating. I'd love to like go fast and do it, but I mean, yeah. that's too dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> dangerous as fuck. I'll slam my face. I'd, I'd have to like get past that mental barrier of just like, you know, you know when you reach a certain speed and especially if you're not used to it, you have to get past that barrier of just like, I'm going a bit too fast now. <laughs> there, if I fall, it's really gonna hurt. I want, I want you know what Olympic sport I want to exist, mm. but pro- will never exist is like, you know, the, when you go to like round one here and you get the, the Zorb balls oh, around. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like football where you're wearing like this, the balls where you can just run into each other. That'd yeah. be such a fun Olympic sport. <laughs> Imagine just like 18 yeah. people on the field fucking just fucking crashing into, into each one. other. Honestly, like if you ever come to Japan, come to round one because most round one have this. You're gonna see. You're gonna uh, see it on screen. A, it's a sport show. It's right? called a show, Yeah. 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 So you get, you're gonna see it on screen now. This is this. You you can easily get access to this. Um, yeah, they're in, everywhere. And in, in a lot of round ones in Japan. Yeah, they're like um, BB gun shooting. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's surprisingly because we, we. I remember when, when when we did it right in the fucking summer, which was a fucking stupid move. <laughs> right, right after we had like the biggest bowl of curry. Too, so <laughs> we were like, we were in the fucking zor ball, just like rolling around, which is like. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw. Oh. I'm gonna throw. <laughs> it's surprisingly, uh, it, it was we surprisingly go back tiring. There. We haven't been there in so long. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Do that. It, yeah, it was surprisingly fucking tiring to do that though. Oh yeah, yeah. Like it oh, looks, yeah. it looks really light to just run around. No, it's not. Yeah. It, it is, it is kind of like playing a Mario Party game, right? Because like it feels like you're, because you're playing football, but it's got this like really janky physics engine. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> It's like trying to drive a car in like cyberpunk or something a like custom, that. A custom like, game mode. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, like big head modes where, where you're just fucking top heavy. It's literally gang beast controls. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fun as fuck. I, l- I love that to be a sport. Are you guys gonna go watch any of the Olympic sports if it happens? Well, so the fuck do I apply? No, well, no, supposedly now that like, I think it's been confirmed that they're not gonna bring any foreigners in, right? So the, but you can go see it at the stadium, which means there's gonna be way more available seats for the actual Olympics. I kind of want to do it just because like- Do you know how to get tickets? I'm gonna look into it. I have it no because idea. Because like, if, if I can find it out, then I, I'd want to go just to say I've been, right? What like, t- yeah, the only time I've ever seen tickets available, the only way you could win it was by buying something from Panasonic and you get entered into a lottery. Maybe, yeah. M- which which of maybe you'll get the right to buy it. Yeah. That's, that sounds like a very Japanese system. That sounds system. like a Japanese thing like, to do. Yeah. I don't want to buy Panasonic. 
I want a ticket to the Olympics. <laughs> because this would be the second time that I've lived in a city mm. where the Olympics is held. Because yeah. I was there for London. I as was well. there in London. You, you weren't there in London. I was in Wales at that time. Oh yeah. Mm. So I was yeah I was living in London at the time. And uh, yeah, I, I, I mean I when. During the normal Olympics, things just like get super, super busy. And I don't really like crowds that much anyway. Mm. So go like, I didn't want to go through the hassle of going through a, to a sporting event. And I don't know, I, I didn't care enough about the sport for me to want to go to this big sporting event where I, you know, I, I literally just said the Olympics is where you watch sports you normally don't care about, but right. you watch it cause it's the Olympics, right? Um, so I don't even know what sports I would want to watch. Like, I don't know. I would you like, just want to watch any sport? Yeah, to me, but also, to me it's what more- What if you watch a sport, but it's like a bad game? Like it's a bad matchup. <laughs> yeah, it's like a yeah. stomp. It'd be like America versus like Venezuela and basketball. Like it's like, <laughs> oh, I mean, you know, come on. Obviously Venezuela is <laughs> going to crush. Yeah, obviously, 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 obviously. <laughs> no, I feel like, I don't know. With those kinds of stuff, I feel it's just, you go to just enjoy the atmosphere, you know? Cause like, I remember- I mean, have you been? I've never been to the Olympics, but- So I've, how would you know the atmosphere is good? Well, because I, well, I mean, every other sporting event <laughs> I've yeah, been to has true, been. Yeah. Cause like, I remember I went to go watch uh, like- But like Japanese atmosphere though in a crowd, they're not very rowdy, are they? Yeah. yeah. Um, that's not true. I went to go see the baseball here and it was really, really fun. I was mean, that, it was a shit game. Really? Like, what, what, what was fun about it? It was, I, I, I say this having been to a baseball game in the US and uh, I kind of found it a bit boring. Oh really? Oh, <laughs> yeah. okay. Well, what do you, I, mean? you don't love the kiss cam gone? What? <laughs> what? I feel, I, okay, okay. Th this might be a bit biased because I, I actually quite enjoy watching the baseball every but now and then. But I also don't enjoy cricket either. Right. Right. No, I'm, just making, I'm just making an enemy of like the US. <laughs> Australia, India now, who, who, who else wanted to- All the sports, <laughs> they all suck. No, well, cause like, I remember I went to go watch a, a rugby game and it's like, I'm not huge into the rugby, but watching, I- Watching rugby games is fun though. Yeah, yeah on the TV. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean in person. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, I mean, I, 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 went, get into I, went, I went to go watch the rugby and it's like, it was a shit game cause our team got fucking destroyed. But yeah. I still had a really fun time just cause of the atmosphere. Yeah, everyone's rowdy like, the crowd. Games yeah, really yeah. Yeah. yeah, but the that's, baseball, that's the baseball was the same thing as well. Like my team was losing, but I didn't really give a fuck cause it was just, I don't know, it's just fun. Fair enough. You know? Yeah, because like how, how we had fun was just getting very, very drunk. Because <laughs> it was in Milwaukee. That's and, typically what you do. And like yeah. everyone was just very drunk and it was just like, I, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm having, a good, I'm having a good time yeah. now though, because yes, I'm pretty please. drunk. Another Miller Lite, yeah. sir. <laughs> I was like, yes, I'll pay for another eight dollar hot dog. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, not worth this it. hot dog that is not meat, I'll <laughs> yeah. have that. Yeah, I don't know. I just I just like having an active component to my sport, I guess. I, 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 I <laughs> How, how can I say this? I don't like when sports are stop starts. You know, I, I, I like right, it to be right. like, it, I like so you're, to, not, so you're not into like the NFL or anything like that. Oh my <laughs> God, bro. Watching NFL is hard. Yeah. The amount of ads they have. I'm gonna get- Yeah, that. but it's also, it's also a very stop start heavy game, right? But like, I, I feel like the NFL is like, I can get into the NFL because when the game is in motion that I I've, like, it's hard to find a sport as exciting as the NFL when everything is in motion, right? Gosh, winning over our American audience. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, like, because there's so there's so many things going on in such a short period of time. Whereas, you know, I look at something like cricket or baseball, and there's only, you know, there's yeah, it's very stop start. It's, it's very know. stop start, and yeah. there's, there's, you know, there's. I'm gonna sound like so. I'm so, so, so sound so bad. It's just I just see like a guy trying to hit a ball. You know? <laughs> what do you I, what do you prefer, American football or rugby? Ooh, it's hard. I think rugby. I'd like yeah, overall. Too, I prefer too. rugby, but mm. I, I, I've, ha I've, ha I've had more exciting like moments watching American football. Um, I feel then you would really enjoy AFL. What's like, AFL? The Australian football. It's it's like it's basically like NFL. Except, I didn't even know it's Australian. Ha Australia okay. had yeah, it. Yeah. If we're representing our own country, I have to talk about AFL because someone's yeah. going to talk about it. But AFL is basically like it's it's like it's Australian football. But think of NFL. But if it was just one continuous play that never stopped. Right. Okay, that, that sounds yeah. pretty fun. And yeah. it's like twice the field size as well. It sounds okay. exhausting. It is fucking exhausting. <laughs> AFL players are legitimate athletes. Like they- I How think, do they do that in Australia? As, as opposed to like every other sport? Yeah. No, I think, I think I saw something which is like in an average AFL game, a player can run upwards of like 20 kilometers. Fuck For man. like, for, for, and, it's, and it's a two hour game. Fuck. Yeah. Oh my God. And it's split, but they split- I, it to, I, I bet they made that game that long on how long Australians need to drink. <laughs> 
Yeah, probably like, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, that's why, why I, AFL, I don't know the round. Yeah, that's what? why AFL games are the best to watch at home. Just like <laughs> two hours of drinking, <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. Thirty minute recess, you know, it's yeah. it's perfect. Yeah, no, but I think you'd really like if if you don't like the start stop aspect of NFL, I think you'd yeah. really like because I, I do I do like a lot of uh, sports where like there's a lot of things in motion. You know, oh, I love, yeah. love football, love I, watching basketball. I, love, I when I went to Canada, I loved watching uh, the hockey. I oh, I, I think I could read again. Hockey was fucking fun. Yeah, hockey is really fun. So Watch. fast paced. That, that's that's a sport where I think watching that like live would be super oh, super yeah. fun, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to watch that. Like the atmosphere just sound just looks super like. So and in the back of your head, it's like, oh, this might turn into a fight. <laughs> 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 exactly yeah, right. Exactly. Sadly, I've never lived anywhere where it's like a popular sport. <laughs> yeah, it's so yeah. sad because I want to. But like yeah. every, every time I when I went to Canada, it was like literally like I was just watching it all the time. Yeah, it's so fun. That's yeah, really. I, fun. I want to go and watch one next time I go to Canada, America, but. Yeah, I would see. I said something nice about America for once. You know? <laughs> I got an, I got an angry email that was like, um, they were like, the subject was, please educate yourself on America. Okay. <laughs> and it was saying like, you talk about America all the time, but you always get everything wrong, and our culture totally incorrect. I should find it. I think I deleted it though, because I was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck. I don't. What what about uh, what about like the sumo? Sumo, ooh, because I, I, I really want to go watch the sumo. I, th I think that would be fun to watch. Yeah. I, I don't watch enough sumo to have an opinion or haven't tried to watch enough sumo to have an opinion <laughs> about it. Did you know, someone in, the tw someone in my Twitch chat notified me that there's a Twitch channel that streams the sumo. Really? Yeah, with English commentary. <coughs> over. Oh my God. So like every now and then when it's on, I just kind of flick it on and leave it in the background while I'm working. Cause right? I'm just like, fuck, like don't even have to turn my TV on. It's on Twitch, <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking great. <laughs> Have, have you ever like gotten into a sport or something because of a show you watched or an anime or something like that? Cause oh. like the only reason I gave the NFL a chance was cause of fucking eye shield. And I hate, I sound like such a weeb for saying this that yeah. I'm just like, okay, I'm going to give an NFL. I'm going to give the NFL mine, a chance. Mine, mine's even worse. I got into tennis cause of Prince of Tennis. <laughs> Wait, that's Dead ass. Hey, hey, I got into like cycling from Yomushi Pan. Yeah. Did you actually? Yeah, yeah yes. dude, it's fucking yes. hype. Okay, I found the email. All right. Hey Connor, love the podcast, but if you if you could do me and the rest of American fans a favor, could you please stop throwing misconceptions around about us? Maybe educate yourself a little bit on how we do things here instead of believing the typical stereotypes. It's almost every podcast now you say something about America that's completely false, so it only applies to 1% of us and it's, and it's just annoying. Like what? I don't know. I wish they gave examples yeah. so I could be like, oh, okay, it's fair enough. Yeah, so you can- Are we wrong about things most of the time, Maylene? A lot of, it, <laughs> a lot of it's right. A lot of it's right, apparently. Well, here's the, here's the problem with America, right? <laughs> wait, wait. Go okay, on. Okay, okay. Go okay, on. Well, there's many problems, but dun, okay. Dun, dun, <laughs> da, 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 da. So, so, right? Something that applies to one state does not apply to another state. Because America is fucking it's huge. It's so varied, right? right? Like, Maylene, do you not think of like, you feel very different to the other states, right? Like, you don't feel like you have anything in common with people from like Florida, right? Yeah. Hmm. So like someone mm -hmm. from, like I can relate to someone from any part of the UK and I can understand everything. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I understand how you live, like, everything's the same. But yeah. for like someone in like California, right? You can't possibly relate completely to someone from like Minnesota. No, right? no, it's, like, it's a to it, totally different culture, yeah, to yeah. totally different vibe. It's <laughs> Shut up, Maylene. <laughs> <laughs> like there's so many, so many, cause it's so vast. There's so many different yeah. like, Micro cultures and everything. Like, yeah, like definitely crazy. like whenever I go visit, visit Sydney's family in yeah. Milwaukee and Wisconsin, yeah. um, it's like, there's definitely a Midwestern culture that's- Oh I, yeah. Yeah. That well, is, from traveling the US, you, you realize like yeah. how different they all view each other as, a, as like Americans. Yeah, it's completely yeah, yeah. different. It's really interesting. Yeah. So fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. He did, he did say he was a big fan I'm of the podcast really though, sorry. Yeah. Have you guys seen any like obscure sport that you like, that you've only, you only know about because it's been recommended on YouTube or something, <laughs> but then like, it actually looks pretty fucking hype. What was, oh, there was one, I forgot what it was, but I think it's like an Indian sport or a Southeast Asian sport where it's, right. it's volleyball, but you kick the ball. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is it called? Wait, what? I've seen this sport. <laughs> it's, Sepatakuro, that's it, yeah. Sepatakuro, it's like, it's literally just, think of volleyball, but like, right. you know how with volleyball, you pass it with your hands? Yeah. But it's instead just, of your hands, you kick it. It's not just it. football tennis. Kind of. <laughs> kind of don't say that, Gon. <laughs> <laughs> Every Sepatakuro like, player is like, how dare you? How dare you ruin the sanctity of our sport? <laughs> no, that sounds good. Like, have you seen stuff like professional tag? 
and stuff like really yeah, professional skills. tag is fucking awesome <laughs> like vox did a video about how it came to be as well how did they how, how did they come to be? just a guy who was like really obsessed with the idea of making like tag courses just yeah. kept like building them and people were like yeah this is pretty fun actually yeah. you know what's one obscure sport i really enjoy watching ultimate what? frisbee yeah, ultimate. Yeah, uh, that that that's is a really fun. That's, that's really fun. Well, in the US, I think it's quite popular because like Marcus yeah. Brownlee right plays it. And oh, really? Yeah, he plays it. He is it an Olympic sport? It's not, is it? No, no, okay. it's not an Olympic sport. He mentioned but... it quite a lot though in his videos, and he shared videos of him playing it. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. Cool. I guess outside of America, it's not really like a thing. I mean, I remember I, we played it for like sports once for school, and it was really fun. Yeah, I mean, we we played it in school as well, mm. so it was definitely a thing. But it was more seen of just as just. It this. sounds like the most college sport ever. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> like I have, pastime. I have the luxury of being able to play ultimate frisbee. Ultimate frisbee. Mm, yes, <laughs> it's the ultimate. It's the ultimate that, that like. Yeah. Why? Why ultimate? Why we don't, we, have, don't, have, we don't have ultimate football. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe we do. Who knows? What, what if they called it like Epic Frisbee? <laughs> I'd be playing it right now. Yeah. Would you like to join our Epic Frisbee team? That's, that's the kind of sports you, you'd think you'd see on Twitch or something, right? <laughs> Epic Frisbee. I, I could see Ultimate Frisbee on Twitch. Why, yeah. why not? That would be yeah. fucking awesome. Like yeah. POV. Like I just, POV, no, POV. You're, you're a Frisbee. <laughs> POV, you're an ultimate Frisbee. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like Twitch would be the perfect platform for a lot of these more obscure sports, like professional arm wrestling as well. Have you seen that? Yeah. That's like the most dude bro sport I've oh, ever seen, like the, right? That's like the slapping. Slapping. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The slapping, which Moist Critical love to <laughs> commentate on. Like what I love, what I love about watching professional uh, professional arm wrestling is is it. Is that like they're egging each other on to do better, right? It's it's almost like it's almost like a gym session where it's like, you got this, bro. No, no, you got this, bro. Ah. Actually, you know what the best one is? I've what? decided this is the best one. The what? best sport you've seen on the internet three times, forget about, but remember this badass. Yeah. It's the like sumo, but with the like the the like robot wars. Oh yeah, the yeah, robots yeah, yeah, yeah. like sumo. It's a sumo ring with like where they have like mini robots and they have to push each other out. And it's from where the Omai Omo Shinderu. Oh, yeah, yeah, like that, that really popular edit where it like <laughs> it's such a good video. Play a gif, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the what was that show? It's the, in Japan. Robot Wars, Wars. I think. Though. No, but um, America did a version of it. Battle, Battle Boss. Battle that's Boss. it. Yeah, but I think, I think that clip is from a Japanese. It's from the yeah, Japanese yeah, one yeah, where yeah. they do it with miniature ones because the Battle Bots and Robot Wars in the UK were like fucking giant yeah. robots. Yeah, that yeah. Were like, but these ones are like tabletop. Robots, well, they're, they're, yeah, it's someone to destroy. It's supposed yeah, to push yeah. the other thing out. <laughs> and it's really cool. <laughs> it's really fucking cool. There's nothing getting destroyed. I am not interested. <laughs> My man monkey brain not happy. No destruction. <laughs> I mean. You know, I, I kind of miss Robot Wars. I don't know. I don't know when it got canceled. Is it still a thing? It's probably not still a thing. I anymore, don't think right? it's still a thing anymore. Like, I don't think BattleBots is either still a thing either. Maylene, yeah. check that up. Yeah, it's one, it's one of it's one of the few things we had growing up where that made engineering look cool, <laughs> right? Because because it's really hard to make engineering look cool, right? But you you see you see these like mechanics. That make would these... be like a really cool way to teach engineering, coding, and like an all in one mm -hmm. thing. Right? Yeah, yeah, get them to make just a little thing, fucking move around a little yeah. bit. Like, why not teach? Them? Uh, the one thing I loved about uh, BattleBots though was just like just just the fluctuation between like the different people that who clearly had completely different skills in engineering. Like one robot was like, this robot is an automated arm that can, you know, grab and pick up robots. And then there's another dude who's like, the challenger comes in. It's like, I attach 60 knives onto this boy. And the only function he can do is go forwards and backwards. Let's go. Uh, it's a chainsaw on wheels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's literally it. Like, it was so funny. And you see like some like piddly robots that had like the most depressing flipper of all time. Like couldn't even flip my grandma. And then, and then it goes up against like fucking hypno disc or something and just gets absolutely and destroyed. Like, half of them like don't even move like yeah. in practice. So it's but just then, like, it's just the door stopper on wheels. And then, and then like, I don't know if BattleBots had this, but the UK one had this where like the, the showrunners had their own like OPS robots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah. were just like, when the, when the nothing was happening, They'd be like, send out Charles or something. <laughs> send out Sir Killer Lot. Yeah, and they're like, <laughs> this just fucking massive, clearly like absolutely god tier engineering like robot. Created came by out. NASA. Yeah, right? and just, <laughs> just, just started like gorilla smashing them around. And it's like, oh, that's kind of it's kind of anticlimactic. Apparently BattleBots was supposed to come back in 2020, but it's supposed to come back. Oh wow. Oh, okay. So BattleBots coming back. Definitely. Battle Bots coming back. Wait, when Woo! did when did BattleBots end? 
So wow, 2000s yeah. at end is coming wow. back soon. Do you remember, I'm just getting reminded of all like these old television shows I used to watch as a kid now. Yeah. Do you remember mm. Gladiators? Was was that was that part of- That's very, very old. That's very, very old. <sighs> that's like, that's 80, like 90s. That sounds really familiar. What is that? It's basically like- uh, how Very much I- inspired like the whole like kind of sporty-esque, like really intense physical sports. Yeah, it's, 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 it was kind of like, instead of like, instead of like, uh, what's, what are like the shows that like four guys and stuff is based around? Wipeout. Uh, wipe out, wipe wipe out. Wipe out. So instead of like going against an obstacle course, you'd have an obstacle course, but then you'd be competing against a gladiator, which was like this kind of like really fit muscular person. Right, and right. it there would have there would be this competitive element where you'd have to beat like beat this person like on time. yeah, on, on this obstacle course or right, something like right. that. Or you'd have to just like literally fight them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the final but hurdle. Basically. You get to the end, he's just standing there. <laughs> I mean, I, the best way I can describe it, it's basically something very, it's, it's like wipeouts mm. with uh, with wrestling, basically. <laughs> wrestling oh, wait, wait, so it's like So it's like real time, like you're fighting, like or not fighting, but like well, competing like, with the gladiator. So there's like yeah. one, I think there was one event in it where like you both had like the, those like long poles with like cushions on the end mm. and you fucking have to smack each other off. Basically just- ju- Oh yes, yes, Basically just like that. giant cotton buds, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah I remember to push that. each other off the, the platform. Yeah, I remember that. I, I mean, I, remember, yeah. I know that that sure is old because in like I think when I was watching that like very early two thousands everyone was wearing like latex and spandex and I'm like oh yeah this I'm is- pretty sure all that's just <laughs> taken from Takeshi's <laughs> Castle right yeah what was the other one the Japanese one's called like uh, I think it was it's called like um, Ultimate Benzuki or something oh it, yeah, 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 that yeah, one? yeah you heard yeah. of this one yeah I think where so. like literally they would do so this is, this show is so fun you should watch clips on YouTube it's really fucking cool so what they would do is is right is that they would have like someone either they would be a generic thing or they'd have an expert so they bring on like 10 expert pogo people and they would build like a fucking impossible pogo obstacle course. Right. And they would have to do it. And like the shit they would do is insane. Yeah. And it was always, it wasn't just general people. It was like, no, they get professionals. Mm, and there'd be right. people who like, they'd have to be, um, they'd bring people who are professionals at like handstands. Yeah. And they'd have to do a whole course handstand walking around, oh like going God. upstairs, going on wobbly Yeah, log. I've definitely seen like, that. It's yeah. really fucking cool. You should watch this, just type it in. I think it's, I'll have to Ultimate show Ultimate Bunziger, right? Bun, I think, I think yeah. it's yeah. called cool. yeah. something like that. Yeah, I remember it, that. And like the stuff they'd have to do was crazy. Like they had that, um, you know, that Mario Party <laughs> game where you have to like, there's like seven things stacked and you have to like have a hammer and hit it oh, from yeah, the bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. They had a game where two people had to do that and they had to like get it, they had to hit them all out. Right. But obviously when That's, you hit it, yeah. it would like tip the thing over. Yeah. It was really cool to That's watch. based off like a traditional Japanese like toy. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's what's, really cool. What's like the best concept of a like like a tr- like reality TV program that you've seen? <sighs> like physical like game show challenge? Thing? Any anything. I like Ninja Warrior. You like, like yeah. the Ninja original, Warrior? the Japanese original Sasuke. One? Yeah, yeah. that's really good. Yeah. There, there was this really old uh, reality TV show that Channel 4 made. Um, I can't remember the name because it was like a one-off series, right? But I always remember it because I thought the concept was genius because what they did is this was this was way, way back when, when Big Brother was like a massive thing. Mm. Um, but the twist was they took, they took these group of people, right? <clears throat> um, that uh, weren't exactly the brightest, brightest bunch of people, but you know, wanted to be on a reality TV show. And they would basically, they basically convinced them that they were gonna go to space. Right. Oh, I think I remember this. So what? So what happens is they they literally go they, they literally like take them astronaut training, right? right. And uh, make make them go through all the training, but also feed them like a bit of fake information, right? Because they had they had this real mock spaceship, yeah. um, and they taught them that you know we 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 are using new technology where it doesn't require rockets. It's kind of like an airplane where it, like slowly circles up to the Earth's atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> and these guys would believe it, right? And they thought that, they thought they were like being trained in Russia. Wait, what, right. was, what was the name of the show? I can't remember. I'm gonna have to look it up because it, 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 up it was a genius show. Um, and st- at, like at any point, mm. if like at any point one of them could have found out, right? Because they were they were um, the t- the producer said, you know, you're gonna be trained in Russia. Mm. It's not gonna be in England. And what happened is they just took them on a plane and just like circled round and just landed in a landed in like a abandoned airfield in Surrey or something like that. <laughs> So they were just like in the middle of England, thinking they were thinking they were going to space, and they actually took some of these people and just. Uh, have you ever been on like one of those fake roller coaster rides, uh, where 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 it's like it's kind of like, like like the 4D ones? Yeah, like the 4D yeah. ones, where where you know you just oh. you just you just kind of like have this spaceship that just kind of tilts. It's, it's, it's called yeah, it's yeah. called Space Cadets. 
And, uh, yeah, it aired in 2005 on Channel 4. Damn. Yeah, yeah. And Channel 4 normally does all the really bizarre, really unique game shows. Right, so yeah. Okay. Right. If, 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 if you got like, if, if you got some time you want to kill, that's honestly, it was such a good concept and it was a one-off as well. <laughs> one-off season. Um, it was just- that's hilarious. It was fucking hilarious. Highly recommend it. I, yeah, the first thing that comes up when you Google it is like controversies. <laughs> yeah, it must have been quite controversial. I guess so. <laughs> but I want to watch that now. Yeah. That yeah. sounds awesome. That sounds really funny. Yeah, there's like, there's the, the UK has some really unique game shows. Like yeah, the, what the, was the that one, where, one? Yeah, the Hunted one, right? Hunted one was cool. What was that? Basically, there was a game show in the UK. Um, I think it was literally called Hunted. And they would have like, I think six pairs or 10 pairs, something around that. And basically what they would do is, is they were like, all right, you have like one day and then we're gonna start trying to like track you as if you're a fugitive. Right, yeah. right, right. So like any of your, if you use your That's phone, cool. if you use your phone, if you do anything, you make calls, you go to places, like they'll find you. Right. And so some people were really good at it and some people were terrible at it. And like, yeah, and then they had to survive two weeks. Yeah, two weeks, I think. Two weeks and then go to a location to get like a plane to like, to escape. Right, right, right. And uh, yeah, well, one, one team did win. It was that pretty, sounds really fun. Yeah, it was really cool. It was yeah. really, it was really popular the first season and the second season, I think was a bit shitter yeah. and didn't do too well. Yeah. But the first I feel, I feel that's a concept like at first that would be like, wow, that's cool. But then I feel it get old quite fast. Yeah, because there's yeah. so much, there's only so much you can do once you yeah. know the formula and once you know the secrets. Like just something like the, the, the logistics uh, behind that must have been like crazy. Yeah. Like I wonder how much of that was faked though as well, because mm. you surely can't have access to all the like, the police forces like yeah. ability, right? Because yeah, it's just yeah. a waste of police time and services, right? That's just like, a lot of oh, government money that, being okay, thrown away. Okay, there's hold on, wait, we've got to find the fake one. First. You know what I mean? Like, it's, uh, I wonder, but yeah. in a concept, really cool. Yeah. yeah. Was that That's on good. Channel 4 as well? That was on Channel 4 as well. Yeah. Channel uh, 4 makes some good like one-off reality TV shows. I'm surprised I've never shows. heard of any of these. Yeah, Channel yeah. 4 makes really good TV shows in general. In the, yeah, in the like some of my favorite are definitely like some of the Darren Brown specials. I don't know how famous Darren Brown is outside of the UK. Right now, I'm I've probably not so him. much. You never heard of Darren Brown? Oh my no. God, yeah. some of the shit this man did was crazy. Yeah. Oh my, so the, his favorite thing that he's ever done. So Darren Brown is a magician from the UK. He's he's yeah. he's a magician that he's basically- a hypnotist like, as well. Like, sorry? Like a hypnotist like, as like well. A, he, I, he, I can't remember exactly what he calls himself, but it's more like a mental magi magician. Mentalist? Where, I'm not even like- It's I, fucking, I, I, he's some, Something about like, the word mentalist this just, makes, man, just makes it sound fake. You this know? man is just one of a kind. Yeah, like, yeah. This right. man he's, like, like he's a, he's a showman. He says like, everything I do is like, there's, it's it's like, not, not so much that it's fake, but like it's, there is like magic involved. He doesn't claim to be, have special powers or something like that. He just claims to understand psychology mm. and plays on that, right? Yeah, so there's this one TV show that he did and it is literally my favorite and it's so, big brain, this whole thing. So uh, I, I'll spoil the end of it. So I'll, I'll warn you, I'm gonna do that, but I'll spoil it for you because it's, but it, yeah. it's still cool either yeah. way if you watch it. So what happens is this TV show starts and you're following this perspective of this one woman. And I know this one's sure. so good, this one's so good. So basically what happens is, is that, um, so the show is, is that he, Basically, he knows which horse is going to win in these horse races. Yeah. Right. So, I, the the yeah. exact name of the special is called the system. Yeah. So yeah. the the way he markets it is that he has a system that can one hundred percent predict which horse is going yeah. to win in a horse yeah. race. And, and so it's like this this middle aged woman, and you know we follow her. He calls her up. He's like, "Listen, bet on this horse. Go now." So she goes and she bets on it, and the cameras are following her. She bets on it. She wins. Mm. Right. And it's like, oh shit. Okay. And then he rings her up again. He's like, right now, put all of your money on this horse now. Then like then a week later. Yeah. And she puts she puts, puts all the money on it. She wins again. Right. It's like, what the fuck is how is he doing this? Mm, yeah. This is legit like horse like legit, this is fully legitimate. Yeah. This is like it's, it's, it's like a public a gambling that anyone can bet on. Right, yeah. right, right. It's a real horse race. Yeah, he well. gives them the money, doesn't he? <laughs> he gives them a thousand pounds, right? I think. I, I can't remember. It's been a while, mm. but I, I do th no, I don't think he gives them any money. Does he not? I well <laughs> so anyway, she wins. And then it happens again. And he's like, all right, now bet again, all the money on this horse. She does it again and she wins. Right. And I think it's one more time. He's like, all right, now this is the final one. Bet all of your money on this again. And she wins. And you're like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, like yeah. he's literally guessing. And then he reveals, right? And as the episode ends that like, he's literally done a, like a tournament bracket of like every single race, there's nine horses. So every single race, he's literally found nine people and told them to bet 
on the different horses. Oh. And he's literally gone through and done like a giant, like hundreds of yeah. races. So yeah. it's, it's, it's like a pyramid. So like at the beginning, he started with yeah. like thousands of, thousands of contestants. Mm. And he said, you know, um, I, I, you know, he didn't reveal who his yeah. identity was. He was yeah. just like an on, anonymous tip. <clears throat> and so, you know, part of like, Certain amount of people won, they got eliminated, he gave them a refund, yep. and then he went up to the next bracket. And then yep. he kept, he basically kept enough of a group of people to make sure there was at least one, one winner. And it's yeah. so simple. That's yeah. so cool. But when you're following this, yeah. this story and her right. perspective, it seems like like literal magic. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Because all, all he was trying, the message he was trying to say was like, don't forget about perspective. Just because you are winning mm. doesn't mean that like, doesn't mean like there's a magical system or something yeah, like that. Yeah. It's, it's that sounds, all to do with probability. That sounds right up my alley. Dude, he's yeah. he's literally a fucking genius. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. His shows are amazing. And like he did one where he's done so many crazy I would, like, shows. I think one of my favorite ones is like the ones where he actually, he actually faked a zombie apocalypse, yeah. right? Oh, that sounds familiar. Yeah. I yeah. might've seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically he takes this, he takes this one guy, mm -hmm. right? Um, so how he gets people on his specials is that people apply to be on his specials, right? right. But he doesn't tell anyone that they've what succeeded. It is. You know, they, they, he doesn't tell anyone that they've succeeded. Right. right? So right, right. he gets thousands and thousands of applicants and he chooses one out, one out of everyone. So he takes this guy and he puts, he basically um, hypnotizes him. So he like passes out and he wakes up in this like abandoned hospital or something. Right, like. right. And you know, it's 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 basically just this guy going through a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, it's like the Truman Show, right? Because they yeah. get everyone around him to act. Right, yeah, yeah, go right. along as if there's a zombie apocalypse. Right. Yeah, yeah. And so this guy literally believes that there's like yeah. a zombie apocalypse. I think this is on. I think this is on Netflix as well. So you can actually watch this on yeah, Netflix. Yeah, there's another one where he sees if he can convince someone to commit murder. Jesus. Like fake murder, right, but right, like right. he sets up the situation. That one's not as good as the other ones, but like no. they all vary in quality, but you're definitely gonna have an experience. Like yeah. I've, you definitely can't find anything like it. What's the name else. of the show again? Just type in Darren Brown. Dar oh, yeah. Darren, Darren, Darren Brown. Darren Brown. Darren Brown. Darren Brown. D, D E R R E N. But he's he's done a lot of stuff. His um, live shows are really popular as well. I, I've been to his live shows actually. Oh really? It's, it's really, it's really good. Mm. Uh, There's like a lot of psychology things. He basically like manipulates like perception. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. And it's really just interesting stuff. Yeah, it gives you a lot of perspective, and he, you know, he 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 goes in saying, you know, not all of this is just magic, you know, mm. like he a lot of no, a none lot of this is magic, right? So, sorry, you said you said all of this is magic. No, no, I'm, what, 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 I'm, what I'm, <laughs> so I'm just a fucking magician. <laughs> all right, you guys know me, no. Hogwarts diploma right here, Disney no. logo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I thought because like watch watching his stuff, he doesn't pretend to be. He doesn't pretend like he has powers or, no, no, powers no, no. or something yeah. like that. It's it's all showmanship. That's, that's how the British people like it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that's my favorite type of musician. Uh, not musician, magician. <laughs> magician. Like uh, fucking, um, what are the, what's the- David Blaine? No, not David Blaine, the, the uh, Penn and Teller. Oh, that's yeah, what yeah. I like about Penn and Teller. Cause oh, they're just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. we're not fucking magicians. We're just good at what we do. Just yeah, yeah. Hand yeah, yeah it's just all sleight of hand shit, you know? Unlike, you know, fucking like Chris Angel. Who's like, <laughs> who's like, yes, I am I'm the second coming of Christ. I'm literally fucking dying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I literally die. To be fair, every now and then, I love going back and watching like Chris Angel clips on YouTube. Just because like, I remember back in the day when I watched like Chris Angel being like, yeah, I split this woman in half. And I was just like, oh my God, this man is an, a he's this actually a magician. Is insane. He's like, yes, I'm walking on water and it's totally <laughs> not just like see through fucking plastic boards on the pool. Right? <laughs> I, were, were, were you were you around when uh, David Blaine did that stunt in London where he was like lived in, in a the cage? Yeah, stayed in the cage or something yeah, yeah. for like, how long did he stay in there for? Like, I remember- months, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a long time. It was, it was like a month without any food or something. Mm. <laughs> and I remember just thinking there were there were so many moments during that month where he just got fucking shit on by all like the fucking chavs and yeah, everything yeah. in <laughs> London, right? It was so bad. <laughs> Cause like it was back in the time when, you know, England had this nice prim and proper image to yeah. Americans especially. And you, you just had like these fucking people, like these, these Londoners who were just chucking paintballs at him and shit like this. I felt so bad. Ch Chaps in London are a different breed, man. <laughs> man, it, it, man, just like as well, like when I, when I saw that, uh, he's like staying in there for 30 days. I'm like, why, <laughs> why? Like, I, is the record really worth it? Like, I get it, like the stunt, but like, is this is yeah. this is this fun? I mean, I guess the fact that we're still talking about it to this yeah, day true, is true. worth it, right? True. Yeah. I, I guess that's the point, right? Like, yeah. 
I just <laughs> lose a month of my life to get a bit of clout. <laughs> <laughs> to be talked about. He's the ultimate clout chaser. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. This shit's very impressive. He could probably kill you with magic for all I know. I kill you? <laughs> Make a frog come out of my yeah, ass. Have you, seen, have you seen, <laughs> <laughs> Shitting out frogs. <laughs> have you seen his TED talk? Uh, no. Uh, he, he had a TED talk uh, like breaking down how he did one of his stunts. Uh, which was like how he stayed underwater and like broke the world record. Yeah, oh, that looked yeah, cool. Yeah, I think yeah. I watched actually, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen and, <laughs> and like he was going through the process of like, they tried a load of different things. Like they tried stuffing like, um, like a airbag into his stomach to give him like a breathing tube, and that just that Is just that cheating. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that just that just <laughs> no, ended it's up, magic. <laughs> that, that just ended up horribly. And yeah. then they just kind of like tried a lot of different ways to see if this was possible. Mm. And then he they just the, like the the conclusion they came to was just. Let's just fucking do it properly. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. He let's did, just you know train. <laughs> yeah, let's just let's just almost drown myself, and uh, that's basically what he did. Yeah. And it's just like, man, this 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 man has just monetize being fucking mental, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's got to be like this is going the cake. <laughs> End credits. Like it's, <laughs> it's respectable that he did that and he achieved that. Like there's yeah. like all the credit to him, but my God, you, you must- you it's, must the, it's the magic of willpower. That's yeah, all you it is. It's the like fucking craziest people that do like the, the fucking like a most absurd Dumbest shit. shit <laughs> that like, you know, you have to be a little bit crazy to be a genius, I think, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that, I think there has to be a little bit, yeah. more, right? Cause I mean, what, what was that quote again? It's like a, a, a genius is just uh, an insane person with an audience. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> yeah, is that's it? all I, mean. <laughs> I, like I don't know who said that quote, Mike but Chris it's a Ash. quote. <laughs> <laughs> And I just, my God, yeah, I don't know. It's like going back to the caving stuff we spoke about a few weeks ago. Right? Mm, it's like, yeah, like it has to. Some there's got to be some dopamine deficiency going on here <laughs> that requires you to like need to like. I'm like, I have a good meal, and I'm like, damn, that dopamine hit was good. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> like, someone has like a Seven Eleven. Like, no, I got to fucking climb the building. Yeah, instead. I got I to I gotta <laughs> climb the Seven Eleven and get a hit. <laughs> You're like, what? What's going on? Fear factor. What's Fear Factor? Oh, Fear Factor. Yeah, I mean, Fear Factor didn't have a lot of controversy. Fear Factor. I mean, I've I've seen it's like yeah, I've, Joe Rogan did it right because like it's either like you can eat your own shit or drink your own piss. It's not even that bad though. It's like <laughs> I remember was. I remember like I think I saw one episode or one season where like the the final gross or whatever the fuck it was called. It was like the the worst meal was um it was a uh, bullet. You know the it was, it was yeah. what it, it was bullet, which is the, like the the, the, bird, duck, right? the duck fetus that they oh, eat okay. in like the uh, Philippines. Okay. And it's like, I remember cause I, when I went to the Philippines for the first time, Aki was like, do you want to try bullet? I'm like, the fuck's that? He's like, it's a duck fetus. It was it was the worst thing they had on Fear Factor. Yeah. And I ate it, I'm like, people on Fear Factor are fucking pussies. <laughs> Well, get get Joey on Fear I'm Factor. Like, there's, 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 so, there's so weird about the fact of being like- I'm like, this is delicious. What do you want about? I can just imagine, right? Someone went to the Philippines, right? Like, And then someone really politely is like, yo, this is our culture. This is what we eat. And yeah. he's yeah. just looking, he's like, I can't wait to put this on Fear Factor. <laughs> People are going to eat this. Like, it's so weird about that, isn't like, there? I really? understand like, you know, like eating a cockroach or something, right? Where it's yeah, like- Something that shouldn't be eaten. Something yeah, that yeah. shouldn't be eaten. It isn't really widely eaten by any culture. Yeah. Like, I kind of yeah. like, I get it, right? Like, you know. And then there's taking like an obscure food from like a cultural background, right? And it's like, this is disgusting, isn't it? <laughs> Look how vile this is. Someone's gonna eat yeah. this Someone's shit. Someone's gonna eat this shit. <laughs> Meanwhile, everyone in the Philippines is like, um. Philippine audience is like Mike Wazowski. <laughs> what? It's, like, it's either McDonald's or this. Bro, <laughs> are you gonna waste that balut like that? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. uh, I, I don't know, man. I'm Ty and Thai people eat water bugs, and I, I don't stand by that shit. Yeah, I, still, you, I still haven't forgotten, Malin. I still have not forgotten. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but you're not gonna like go and be like, mom, can I take some uh, water bugs back? I'm filming Fear Factor. Yeah, you know, right? Maybe, like, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody <laughs> eats this. <laughs> Sarah has a choice between jumping off a bridge or eating a bug. She chose to jump what, off what, a bridge. What is, what is Fear Factor? I've never watched it. Yeah, isn't it you get two choices? No, am I crazy? Uh, uh, was it two choices? Uh, I, I think, I no, I think, I think, it's, I think it's, like, it's just a show where it's like, contestants basically line up and being like, you can eat, if you eat this, then you go on to the next round. And if you survive the entire round, you get a prize money or something like that, right? But like the, the food or what you have to do, is mm -hmm. like usually considered gross, according to Americans, right. at least. And like- <laughs> Vegetable. I'm, yeah. to, I'm gonna get shit after. <laughs> 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 
The first step. Okay, okay. Now, now the email. Now the email is warranted. I'll give you that. All right. Now, okay. Fair you, enough. You know that meme with that kid who's just like got a vein popping out. It's like Connor when he has a shit on America for thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> true, 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 true. <laughs> hey, I think it's fair fucking game. I, yeah. I, you don't see me fucking emailing Americans being like, stop making British memes. I don't say the word H. Hey, shut the fuck up. Be a little bitch and take your shit. <laughs> <laughs> we all get mocked, okay? It's 2021. Um, but yeah, fear fact, I can think. Uh, yeah, anyway, like- Spinach or carrots. <laughs> <laughs> who, who the fuck eats celery? <laughs> celery without hummus. <laughs> I'm so fucking Americans. I le I don't actually believe this. I'm joking. This is a joke. This is a bit. Eat the celery or take the hummus and go home. <laughs> No, but basically it's like, it's like you have to do something gross or eat something gross. And if you decide to do it, then you move on to the next round. If you don't decide to do it, then you get kicked off. And basically each step, it just gets worse and worse and worse. I don't know, I might be talking out of my ass. This, this is how I remember yeah, it, right? Yeah. What the and then, is wrong with us? Is one of the watch people do fucking stupid shit like this. <laughs> I don't know. It's entertaining. Actually, yeah. I had another flashback to another Darren Brown special. Okay. He did another special as mm. well, which is great where the audience get to cho choose whether something bad happened to the guy or something good happened to the guy. Right. The, the, so they would follow a guy in his daily life. He obviously signed Yeah, 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 yeah. And literally the audience every single time chose bad things to happen <laughs> to him. And like one of them of was like, one was like his family gets Christmas presents early or he gets fucking kidnapped. And he literally got kidnapped because the audience wanted to see him get kidnapped. We're <laughs> fucked up. We are fucked up. Man. Do, you, do, you know, do you know what the most fucked up thing about that special was? What? So it, so it, the, the special basically ends, right? With, you know, the audience shows a, a bad thing happening. Like he got kidnapped or something. And then I think as they were trying to kidnap him, um, he got into a car crash. Now the car oh, crash, shit. the car crash was staged. The audience didn't know this, yes, right? That was the car crash oh, was staged. Wow. And so the audience see him get hit by a car. Mm. And then it, it stages like this unplanned thing. Darren Brown just walks off. And then you're just you're just left seeing like the audience kind of like really feeling like shocked, like what's really going on? And like one one of one of the audience members going like, uh, excuse me, you're not being funny, but like this like it's not our fault, is it's, it? Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I can't remember exactly what she says, but she's like, "Excuse me, this ain't this isn't funny. Like, can you tell us what's going on? Like, wh why would you make him go through this?" Right. And it's it's like the lack of self awareness and self irony that you literally came on a TV show they kept voting. and kept voting yeah. for bad things to happen, and then something bad thing happened that wasn't scripted, but because it wasn't scripted, suddenly it's a serious matter, right? Right, right. Yeah, it was like really interesting because it was basically just like you as the audience does not care about who is on screen. Right, you just want to see bad things happen right. you know these are people it's really good because yeah. you know it's stage right? yeah, well because that's what you think right you right. think it's all fake or, or like or you don't care yeah. like, it's a, it, it, it was it was a message about like an, an anonymity within like crowds i don't know what's the word i'm looking for like hive mind yeah the, like the hive mindset right, right where right, right. if you have anonymity you responsibility is kind of like taken off you and mm. you're willing to do like you want to do things that on. you might not do if you know you were the one responsible. I'm pretty sure I saw like at least four like Black Mirror episodes that were like that. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. I mean, but Black Mirror sucks now. Yeah, it sucks <laughs> now. Oh my god, it, it sucks so much. Yeah. I went downhill real fast. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else you guys want to bring up or? No, watch Darren Brown, I guess. This has been a really strange episode. We talked about so many things. Yeah. We sped run through stuff today. <laughs> but like, watch Darren Brown. That's how you got to think. Honestly, away. like- I, I need to. Like, I, you guys have sold me on it. Out, out of every British, like, you know, I like to show Sydney some British TV shows mm. because I feel like British TV shows, the, the, people only know like fucking Doctor Who and maybe Top Gear, you know? Yeah. And I'm just like, you know, British TV shows, have, they have some good TV shows. And mm. I think Darren Brown is one of the best examples you can get from just, Quality TV shows oh, yeah. coming out from England. Um, I mean, I mean, you guys have convinced me, so yeah. that's what I'm gonna do. I, I don't. I, how can you not hear any of that and be like, yeah, I'm not interested? Like, you <laughs> know what I mean? It's so interesting. Yeah, because really because the thing about TV, British TV shows is that they they like he would make one special a year. At, at most, at most. So they'd obviously been like dwelling on this idea for like a long time. So like some ideas are better than others, but there's no idea that you hear about and you think that's not interesting at all. Mm. <laughs> yeah, because isn't his one special 
where he teaches old people to like rob an art gallery. <laughs> yeah, 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 that, yeah. That was one as well. Yeah, that's good. You should watch that. Yeah, what, that was his best. Watch it. it was good. It was that, that, watch it, yeah. that was that was a good one. Um, I can do that or go watch another episode of Don't Tell the Bride. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what, what it was it's called. called. That's what it's called. We, we it didn't out. know what it's called. Woo! <laughs> oh. The show is over now, <laughs> and it's all come full circle. <laughs> I figured it out. Don't tell the Don't tell bride. the bride. That's what it's called. <laughs> that's what it was. Oh I was thinking like. 3,000 pound marriage yeah. or something like fuck. It yeah, took in the UK it was 3,000. No, it was 3,000, right? Uh, I think it was 10,000. I don't know, but it's the, the episode's over now. The trash <laughs> yeah. taste episode's over. Yeah. yeah. Hey, look at all these patrons though. Yeah, yeah look yeah, at all these yeah. patrons. They're pretty cool. Before we end the episode, I'm going to find out how much money it was now. Okay. All right, you do that. But right. thank you to all our patrons and Joey, do, do the shout out. Thing. Okay. In the meantime, if you want to support the show, then make sure to go over to patreon.com slash trash taste. Also follow us on Twitter. Send us your memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our faces, go listen to us on Spotify. Have you found out what it was yet? Uh, I blitzed through that it shit. It says, um, oh yeah, they were giving uh, 12,000 pounds. Ooh, Ooh, okay. So a bit more than I thought. Big boy that sounds about right, actually. That's actually a pretty I decent. I knew it was a division That's a, that's a decent three. amount. That's a decent budget, that <laughs> yeah. is. That's not bad. That's, yeah. that's not, you, can, you can get away with quite a bit for that. And this was like the TV <laughs> episode then. I, we didn't even, <laughs> didn't even intend for it to be. I just no. chilled into it. It yeah. just kind of like, That's yeah. every we, Trash Taste episode, isn't well, it? Well, we, we, we got to talk about Trash TV. I'm happy. I mean- Our I, Trash Taste in TV. <laughs> oh, that's the title. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get to talk about my hatred of Love Island, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it's shit gone. What does it say? <laughs> yeah, it's, I know, it's garbage. <laughs> Why is everyone watching it then, Connor? Save Why it, is it? Save what? it for the next episode. <sighs> All right, see you guys. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Bye.